What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome to the ASMR part of the stream. Look at that. Who's got a new tattoo? Yes, that's right. Look at that. It's brand new. I'm very happy about it. I keep looking at it every single time in day. Look, yes. It's new. It's nice, huh? Yeah, um, got a, finally got a tattoo. I've been thinking about getting a tattoo of this that looks like this for 20 years. And now I finally got it. Um, because Mirta found the perfect picture of it and she wanted to get a tattoo uh, that made that was in New from New Zealand um, and uh, she convinced me to get it as well um, and I thought about it but then I was like I don't know where a good, good tattoo artist is here uh, I have a, like a very intricate tattoo that I want so I want to research if the place is good and I made to find a place that was really good she had already found this picture um, because first I, uh, I had a different uh, different idea uh, for this tattoo. And that's my first tattoo. So I went immediately big and underarm. So uh, I went for it. I thought about doing it on my leg, but it's pretty long. So, and he, you know, I like all the sketchy, uh, this this sort of sketch stuff that's on there. Yeah, love it. Anyway, um, it's going to be a nice day. I'm going to grind super fucking hard, play a lot of tables. We have improved the graphics on stream the currently playing etc um that is there and um let me just jump in a bunch of tournaments right off the bat oh i, I just man i love the start just getting into like a fucking million fucking tournaments mm, mm, mm. yeah we grinding we grinding had a really good session last time. We're up 40k for the year again. Very cool, very cool. Um, so my second to last session. So my last session is going to be tomorrow. And then um, we're going to be leaving Van uh, Vancouver. We're going to be leaving uh, New Zealand, which is, well, more sad even than bittersweet, to be honest. Um because um, we had a great time here and I could live here honestly uh, if it wasn't for friends and family I could live here the, the the quality of living here the friendliness for kids the amount of stuff you can do in New Zealand it's like we were talking about yesterday like it exceeded all our expectations on every single level and we had high expectations so yo what's up Buzz Races thank you so much this is this is good. It's nice. Yeah, like like that. You like the intro. Bus race is there with the seven months. Thank you, thank you very much. And earlier we saw the legend, the myth, the man, Panda, O seven seven seven, Mr. Bruno, with eighty six months, been here from the start, has been here pre fucking stream. That's how long he's been supporting me. Um, I remember Panda being uh, in the PokerStars chat, supporting, um, watching every single Joe Ingram podcast that I did, all the way back. Love that guy. What's up, WeSXL? What's up, Ruth? What's up, Croaks? There's going to be a home game today. It's a little bit earlier than normal. It's going to be in one and a half hours. Ball of Man Monk on my head. I try to switch the time zones around a little bit based on when uh, uh, every day gets busy, etc. Um, and today is going to be a little bit more of a chill. Well, I mean, playing a shitload of tables, but. It's gonna be a little bit more of a chill day um, if you really look at uh, peak hour. How many? Uh, <coughs> how much did I've? Uh, how much? Did, how many tables that I'll be playing? Yeah, what's up? What's up, Dav? What's up, Amir Glenno? Why didn't stream start yet? I'm not talking to you, Ruth. I know you're trying to be nice, but ask Lex. Thank you, though. I mean, she knows, bro. Like, don't be an asshole when somebody's trying to help. Fucking hell. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, yo, Awiwo. 32. Thank you for subbing. Very nice tattoo, thank you guys. Cool tattoo, thank you. Very nice. I like, well, look at that. So, 
why I got it is because um, if you look at like, so I wanted to get it back in my back in my old days of grinding because like I was already like super, I was always either very high, very low, always grinding and had insane swings, right? Like my life was always up and down. I could literally be from like a millionaire to paper boy. A friend of mine actually bought that book for me. Um, and, uh, I always wanted to get something that sort of like spoke to those swings and talked to like something like that. But now there's like a f sort of like deeper meaning as well is, um, so because now sort of the, the good times prevailed and all the bad times are behind me. So that's why the, this one is like more darkened out, more grayed out. And this one is like brighter and on top. And then you have here the letter M because everything turned around when I started dating Myrta. So that's letter M is for her. And then it's also cool because it, it's kind of like a Japanese sketch almost. And the M is also done in the style of uh, Dragon Ball, the Majin Vegeta M from the Boo saga. So that sort of ties it around again to the Japanese theme. And also that I'm like, I love anime and whatever. So it's like, there's there's lots of little things that I really like about it. Yeah, so I thought about doing it in my leg, but then th I was talking to the guy and it's like more elongated, so it fits the arm better. And he's like, if it has that much of a deep meaning to you, then it's good It's good that you see it every day. And he's like, and he gave me a tip and I kind of always wanted it on my underarm. I love tattoos there. And then uh, he said something that I thought was really good. He said, um, you should really do whatever the fuck you want with a tattoo. Because he said that he got, he wanted uh, some more specific tattoos and he didn't get them and he made them more sort of mainstream if you will um, and that he's always regretted that and those are the tattoos that he's like darkening out now so yeah <clears throat> so then I immediately kind of knew what I wanted to do it's a great great tattoo place as well um, yeah, so we're just gonna call, probably call River. Hope there is like a 10, a Jack or a Queen, something like that, you know. Something inauspicious or a 9. 5 is great. Less chance of him having like 5-6, five, 5-4, five, five, etc. I mean, of course, we lose to hands like 5-7, five, 5-8. Five, um, but with us checking the flop back, it's gonna make us seem capped. Well done. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess if I'm gonna call like 30, then I have to call this. From when is this note? Yeah, it's new. Probably means that he could be a winner. He's gonna have to East Polarize, right? He's gonna have to go big. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have to call. We're very much at the top of what we would be uh, checking through. So I don't really see how I can fold there. Oh, we succeeded with the five subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Ooh, Bises Aras. Wow, nice. Is in there. Plays the home game every time. That's very cool. Um, and uh, I see Chenks in there as well. Nice. Welcome, welcome back, everybody. Very cool, very cool. And a Shatri, thank you for the two years. Nice lot tattoo. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Grim. Thank you for uh, watching the Learn With Lex stuff. Yeah, nice bet. Nice bet. Don't really see how I can get out of it. And that's not the way we should think, right? We shouldn't really think, like, how can we get out of this situation? Is the currently playing moving in and out? Oh, nice. Why is it stuck the chat on there? That's not good. Uh oh. Fuck. Um. Where's 5.30 bounce? I don't want to settle out. Okay. Quickly.
Okay. Um. Why is the chat not updating? Let's see. Okay. All right, all right. The chat on screen is bugged. It seems like it's just delayed or something, it's weird. Um. I'll keep an eye on it. It's only a few levels behind, I guess. Looks as a tattoo. Yes, yes. Okay, sorry, just trying to fix my shit. Yo, oh, kid. Thank you for the 90 months, bro. Thank you, thank you. Nice limp. I have a tattoo on a leg and it's the only one. Mine is purely art. Doesn't mean anything at all. I always think having tattoos personal. I always enjoy the story it lets to. Yeah. Nice, holy shit. No outs. Uh, call the flop, check through turn. Does that at the bottom have an autograph? No, 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 no. I don't know if this is smart, but 
Fucking Trzinski is unbeatable, bro. I think that's pretty good. I mean, those ranges are really strong. Like, it obviously sucks to see two A's highs, but... Okay. Easy nine, come on. Three. Oh! That's nice. That's a bad turn here, but we'll see. We have plenty of us. Oh, I believe you. Oh my god, you got me. You got me, you got me, well done. Ace is here, wow, on the bubble. <laughs> Alright, it's a bit much for this time. Come on. No, 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 Three spots away from the fucking money? Fuck. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, Palitax, thank you for the 28 months. Okay, big pulse. Wow, some starts, god damn. We're just gonna jam. Really don't want to give a free flop to hands like Queen Five, etc. Okay. Crazy start! Holy shit! Five clients with aces, the perfect combo can. Royal with cheese. What are we gonna play today? Everything, like literally every single fucking tournament. <laughs> Yeah, cool of fish. Thank you for the six months. Alright, let's start winning some hands. Maybe next time. Good luck today, thank you. It's gonna be a big, nice day. Oh man, I am. If you look at like the amount of tournaments I'm pre regged in, like it's. Oh, it's nice. Feels so good. I, th I love seeing all the white borders. Hey, it's could be an hour up. I 
limp gold. We limp fold six seven off, we start mixing eight seven off. About as good as a river you're gonna get. Nice. is Hot 82, wow. Might as well put that on the main screen, by the way. I can't find you, bro. Shark scope. My mistakes are not available. Not available. It ain't available. <laughs> Just do what you feel with tattoos. Yeah, there we go, right? Exactly. Hello, Alex. Respect from Russia. Privet, Bratan. Privet, Privet. playing some cards so to check here we're gonna go for massive bet on the river tattoo cursed him <laughs> I'm going to increase the time that the payouts are on screen a little bit. Okay. Ah, already time timing out in the hot uh, 22k. It's exactly what you hope for, Kappa. No time bank instantly. not how we start how we finish oh yeah that's the fucking uh you could say that's the, that's been the motto of uh the last streams huh holy shit finished strong pretty much every stream well not all of them but i mean that's how it's gonna go in tournament poker anyway in the money
think we can go for big bets. Force out his ace highs instantly. By border means low cards. What? And why border in the tournament lobby means that we're in the... That we're registered in that tournament. If that's what you're talking about. Not bad, that's a big fucking call, holy shit. Um Okay. Tempted to raise Ooh. Ooh. Your greedy Lex wants to play all of them. No, I'm just excited. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, that could have definitely been a reason to just jam this hand, to be really honest. The chances were so big that they were going to be in. Fucking hell. Long till 2050. Um, I don't know. I think soon. Maybe like two hours. Nice little check to the river. A snap call there, eights or something. Wow, five high. <laughs> uh, okay, that is um, indeed five high. Sometimes, guys, you just have a feeling you're just gonna say, Fuck it, I'm gonna play pass out drunk. And just make hero calls that don't make any sense. He probably must have misread the boards, I think. Are we doing scoop from Belgium again? Yes. It's kind of a nice spot versus Tecklson. He overbets the flop. I call. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Um, what was that? Oh, yeah. The Battle Royale starts in one and a half hours. Thirty-five minutes. What is with these jack fucking nines, huh? Uh oh. Oof. You have 12k since a few days ago. What tournament did you win big on? Oh, bro, I have crazy swings. Um, I won the big one on 9 for 6k. I got second in the 1050k over 13k. I had 15k in binds that day. It's just been a fucking millstrom. I woke up at 2 a.m. again, I don't understand what's, uh, it's weird because when I don't stream and I go to bed at like 10, I wake up at 8. And then I go to bed at like 9 and I have to get up at 3.30 and I just wake up.
Oh, I'm updating so many notes. This is nice. Uh, oh yeah, I want a 5k mystery bounty. Uh, let me tell you what I'm playing now. 8? It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Uh, power paths. Let's add those. 39 minutes. Let's just let's just get in in this one because I'm only playing eight tables, so I might as well add some. There's gonna be a satellite soon to add. Probably the only strong hand that I don't have is nines. But I have like ace, nine, three, sixes, fours. Which makes this an easy fold. 300 to the flop, I bet. Small, big, big. Annoying, but. There's no fucking way. He's if, if, if he's check raising uh, on this board, if he's check raising nine, six, for instance, or six, four on the river. Uh, I'll get his money later, right? Because that would be a uh, huge overplay on his part. some ace highs. It's hard to have 4x here, I guess. I just don't see him have like a single jack. Crazy hand to turn into a bluff. That hand wins so much, right? And when you get called, you're never good? Yeah, because I'm going to have 10x. Maybe some 9s even sometime. Which I probably won't be calling, to be honest. <laughs> it's just hard to find what you're value betting against, right? Okay. Good thing we got in earlier. <sighs> Nice. 530 bounty. <laughs> Is it full moon out there, guys, or something? Like, what the hell? Just get. Just It's just good as well. Just holds. Good. Losing lots of uh, big all-ins. This is nice to start. Is there a bug with the song label? Because it shows the same now for 10 minutes. Yeah. Man, what's going on? <laughs>
Um... I have no idea. That's so weird. Why is all, everything's crack? Everything's burning. Um, I I don't have the. I can try it again this session, but last time uh, the heart rate monitor that was causing a lot of static interference with um with the mic. Which was a very weird. Okay. I hope that the message is contained to two may be well internalized and will serve you as much. I heard yin yang within your sentiment, although not the only symbolism you spoke of. Yes. Yeah, I uh it's very the meaning is very close to me. I've had a pretty uh crazy life to be honest, I think. I mean, that's the way it felt, you know? Yo, Yatanta, what's up? Thank you for the 28 months. Thank you. We call with the gutter, super deep. Bounty's worth a shitload of chips. L22 is really annoying to me. I timed that one out so often. Doesn't really matter though. Okay. Decent flop for sure. Missing the satellites, motherfucker. Why is it opening in random locations? What the fuck is this, man? Okay, got it. Yeah, not using heart rates. I can't. I can test it. Actually, testing it's even better. What do you fuck are you thinking? What was it two pair? Jesus. Getting nit rolls. Okay. Hey, what's up live for me? I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing really good. I lost Jax. Oh, the monkey satellite first hand. Jax was a seven. That's too bad. Mm, boom. Wild start. It always is like you just start in the middle of the fire, right? Love this currently overplaying, uh, overlay. 
playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, yeah. We have payouts now and stuff as well for final tables and and deep runs, etc. Just improving the technical aspect of the stream a bit, you know. Okay, put the hard drive thing somewhere else. Can I detect like on the leg or something? I don't think so. Interesting question though. $11 mystery bounty. Wow, that's such a great fucking turn. Oh, I wonder if check raising here is uh, viable. Okay, it's gonna flat there. I don't really wanna four bet versus a big blind three bet. Big blind three bets are pretty polarized. So if I four bet, they just fold their junk. And if they go all in, then I'm not even really sure if I wanna call with tens. Uh, and that will mean that we're bluffing with tens, which we really don't want to do. There are situations where that's more viable, but. It's gonna call. The moment we check the turn, we're capped, which really blows. But that's just something we're gonna have to deal with when facing a bet, I guess. We can't just bet every hand for that fact, right? We'll check through some Queen X and stuff to avoid, to avoid it. So that people can't just automatically fire anything. Not sure how I like if I like the bet yes or no. It's gotta wonder a little bit what it achieves. Nice. What's up, dumb devil? Good morning, good luck today. Let's see a repeat of last stream. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay. Seems we must start as variance as bitch to later ship him. A reasonable trade, but early a tough road. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you describe that, Eric. Um, yeah, it's okay, you know. It's just like, I think it's just like, what's so wild is that we start in the middle. We start in the middle of something crazy. Hey, we're thanking us up to short bus. Thank you so much. And so on. Thank you for the 41 months. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, pretty scary, but it's burned out a few months better now. Oh, nice. So, on. well, you know, good now. Uh, let's 
זה לא בטוב. לא בטוב. So we're going to raise kings here, we're super deep, so we'll make it a little bit bigger, 2.3 is a really good table, random choose a beast, don't tell him I said that. Look, look, thank you, Kiss KC. spots because I'm capped so I can't really raise for value so I just have to accept it I guess because I never check like 10 9 10 8 8 9s Queen Jack but then again his value is also capped when he bets one third so if I raise I'm protected I don't know don't like the feeling of being weak you know like undercutting value undercutting myself it's, it's like uh, that's like that'd be like a cancer to your game when you play against people like him it's just like it slowly it just creeps it's good to think about that uh sell i didn't from the fight into the 5.30 from $5. Don't have any experience. Mezal, just play your game. You got the in there. Just look at it as a free roll. I think the most important thing is that you look at it as a $5 buy-in and not a $530 buy-in. Okay, good start. Had a few deep runs in this one uh, lately. It's so nice to just be in every tournament, you know? Are there any good $5 tournaments now that we're just like playing everything anyway? Uh, nothing big, huh? <laughs> Can't get enough. Rocket cut. Rocket cut.
Okay, this is going to be a nice squeeze spot. Both have 30 bigs. Don't see any other uh, option than shove. Hope for a fold here. What is this? Okay. Um, so, if they fold, they're going to be calling with like 9s, 8s, 7s a lot. Like ace, queen, ace, jack. I'm just going to... I just absolutely annihilate this this range. There's like a, there isn't a single hand in there that beats me. Next quick question, 40 G's up on the year so far, good profits. There were times you played for that much in one hand. Are you happy these days in the main? Are gone, pressure of mortgage family. Are you missed or do you miss them? Um, yeah, but the thing is that a lot of people don't realize is that when you see people play for that money, there's only a few people that constantly play for those stakes. But like, there's a lot of people that when the big game or whatever rolls around, they just up the stakes massively because it's a good spot. Um, so, I mean, I still, I still think poker is a numbers game, right? Like, you can't play 40k, 50k buy-in day in, day out, day in, day out. Even the people that still play 250k buy-ins, first of all, right, they sell a big part. Second of all, they're also grinding the 215 bounty on Sunday. So it's like you need all those tournaments. Uh, you need all those tournaments for uh, to get to a good yearly uh, situation. On top of that, um, what I'm doing now also makes sponsorship money, etc. Right? So there's a lot of sort of like stable set income um, that puts me in a really good spot as well. So. Yeah, no, I'm happy. Like you're very brave, making tattoos very pain, and you was brave enough to make one. It's not too bad. I feel like the first part of it was like an annoying feeling, and then it became uh, less annoying. It's almost like af after like five minutes your nerve your nerve system realizes like okay it's fine this is just gonna stay for a while <laughs> we'll always die for you Whoa. Nice la. Nice LA. Still so funny how Jamie Staples thought that lasted for a LA. Okay, about to flop, check the turn. It's just uh easy print.
Okay. Oh, I can't wait for my can of coke. I have like these little moments now in the stream, you know? Coke, Mad Monk. Hmm. I'll uh, make sure not to, uh, when I play the Mad Monk list, not to repeat it for like three hours straight. I mean, I was just so hyped. I was like, I was fucking cracked out, really. Uh, while, uh, while grinding through the session, so. Just so much going on. Since you're a new streamer, did you know there's a series from called Common Scoop? Hope you won a trophy too, and hope you w I wouldn't want to. Good on all games tomorrow and so on. Thank you, Baines. Yeah. I'm excited for Scoop. I'm very curious to see how I'm going to feel um, grinding uh, during the night again. Kind of feels like Ace King. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck. What's a good ratio to win a tournament? A win a tournament, I'm not sure. In the money, like 20%. Turn 50 to buy in a 30k dollar. Wow, I like poker. Holy shit. That's crazy. Man, I'm grinding table player labels. I'm already at like 80 for the day. 80. 80, I should say. 80. <laughs> it's so weird seeing the tattoo. It's like, I'm getting more getting used to it now, but like I've had so many times a day where I'm like, what the fuck's on my arm? What the fuck is on my arm? Okay, um, do a quick glance. I just want to get in every tournament from the start. Ooh, four seven off, you say? That would have been nice. That's all right, okay. Thank you for the 62 months. Thanks, bro. Man, I'm like the most responsible labeler of all time. I wonder if you guys ever think when I talk about that fucking nerd or something, that's just something that I love so much. The organization of it, you know. Would you like to bet smaller check? Okay, I'm gonna call this with the bounty there. GG. Six! Um, I think I'm just going to check it back, even though I know I'm going to lose. Mm. 
That's a tad bit too light. But that's okay. Menk is pretty aggro. He's also a cunt. Nice. Denied. Let's see, do we have any alerts going off on break? We do not. Uh, we do actually. Register satellite to the 1k. Okay. So that'll be on. This one. Okay, let me get run down. I have three minutes. Let me run down. I get to uh, cook. Very nice. Lots of studs. Very nice. Very, very chill to stream like this. It's good. Man, do not buy a fucking Razor. Whatever the fuck this is called. Razor Black Shark. My fucking word. I'm going to go outside and burn it, I think, later. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, nice turn. No way we're going to fold the flop, of course. Just going to check all. Good river. I beat all of his bluffs. Nice. Queen 10 of clubs. Whoa, come on. BBC occasionally streams. Okay, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Fucking hell. Actually, never, uh, never talked to him. Yeah, I've never spoken to him. Burning the headset, anti-advertisement. It's a little bit fucked after you bet the flop, I guess. Alright. If he sees this, that'd be the most awful moment ever. Then I can forget about every single pot, I think. It's not too bad. I think here so far is good for telling a journey, but not dumb like daily binds. True. Um, all right, he's gonna have some stuff around the five, maybe turn some threes into a bluff, perhaps. Some ace highs, I don't know. I checked the turn back, which means I'm just sort of omega capped to uh, queen tops. And then a shitload of pairs underneath it, I guess. That's easy call. Nice. Call for content. How I beat a world champion with Jack High. Take down a 1k. Yeah. All right. Daddy's chip leading. Okay, so many bigs, 15, 15, 12. Whoa. Please, somebody get paranoid about me abusing my chip lead. Thank you. Oh, Negrin. Oh, fuck. I wanted to drink his blood. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. Okay, let's see. 
Nice. Oh, that's not good. I rewatch Rossi versus Oki every day. <laughs> nice. Come on. Come on. Nice. The payoffs seem to be bugging. Um, let's see, maybe there's a quick fix to it. Seems like a crazy fault. I don't know. Maybe somebody's fucking around. That's always possible. Hey, what's up? Uh, Georges Marie. Yeah, yeah. Everything's good here. The slope 11 big blinds and a small man against the gonna raise. What do this? I'm not sure. Shit. It's annoying. New. Double flush rolls, straight rolls out there. Still pretty confident in my hands. I don't really see why he would like check call the flop with a club draw and then lead small on the turn. So, wow. It's all over the place. Holy shit. Let's go from like slow playing. Yeah, wow. Holy shit. If you're gonna go that YOLO with the hand, just fucking raise a pre flop. <laughs> So, so many better hands, right? You, you want to bluff with hands that don't beat other hands. You don't want to bluff with hands that beat a ton of other hands. Stupid. I missed like a super easy uh, C bet. Alright. Um, those are the worst. Pure Missing pure C bets just feels like you just handed somebody a bunch of money. Like they didn't have to do anything, you just gave them money.
Alright, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a relatively light 3 bidding range. Like, anything that they want to come in, play, like, let's say 10-9 suited, queen-jack suited, king-10 suited, I think they're all going to 3 bid like, that pure. It's not even that bad, because you could just, uh... Oh, and we have a cold 4 bit here, it's easy to call. 80 big blinds, nice. Uh, now let's find our ace-queen somewhere. Oh, they flopped a set of sevens. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Would you like to re-enter? Yes. Okay, last nine. We have uh, three tickets, I believe. some homework to do on break to fix the fix the stuff but we have a hot fix for the payouts which is nice okay would you say in balance it's worth to play super aggressive uh Yes, it's a little bit hard because your question is too general. It it lacks nuance, but I think if you want a, a sort of like answer to that, my answer would be yes. I think you could say that. I mean, hyper aggressive is maybe a little bit too much, but. Let's just say you want to play more hands than you do in uh, in other tournaments. Maybe that's a good starting point. Any chance you can turn the mic up? No, I cannot. Sorry. Whoops. Folded to three book lines. Thought it was 12. Jesus, limb folded as well. That's fucking horrendous. Okay, I'm not fucking looking up people now. I remember there was talk about chats, a baseball player who signed 700 million, well now he's getting fucked in the ass because he was caught betting on sports, which is illegal for players. You have to be kidding me. That is one of the biggest puns in the history of puns. Hey, j -Doc. Have an okay stream. Thanks, bud. Nice guy, Chadok. All right, seven left only. I mean, I'd love to fucking win a seat there. Yikes. Nice. Nice. It makes such a big difference on a day, winning seats to like the one case. Especially since I lately been entering them three times. I kind of lose my fault equity if I call this. Probably need to jam that. Okay, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. I think I'm gonna jam this. Wow. <sighs> Fuck.
fucking unreal noob. Okay. What a fish. Okay. Moving on. God damn, fucking bubbling satellites. Especially when you have, you know. Ah, good read on the situation. Man, if I just win that fucking ant. <laughs> okay. Man, it's frustrating. Oh, it's gonna jam this. If they have queens, I might just retire from the game, but they flat it pretty so. Just so, you know, really targeting like sevens, eights. That's where my money comes from. Queen doesn't help me almost ever, I would say, so. Definitely think that I can uh, get heroed here. I'm in a big blind as well, right? So. Yes, I'm going to have a lot of King X, but I'm also going to have a lot of dog shit straight draws that miss. I expect Otani betting scandal to be discussed there. Well, we talked about his contracts and uh, sports contracts and stuff, so. Plus, I think that uh, most uh, news, most news makes a passing here. I legitimately think that A7 can just min raise folds in the satellites. Because I'm not jamming any ja any Broadway cards there, right? Like, the best he'll do is me having King-Queen. And he drops it, yeah. Alright, so we're getting deep in the hyper uh, small tournament, but uh, I chose to play it because I just want to play a lot of tables today. And this is going to be part of it. Good evening, love the tattoo. Thank you, official Dutchie. Good luck on stream, I'll be after my darts match now. Nice! Let us know uh, highest finish when you come back, please. Okay, defending every single suit in the big. Mr. Pure Seabed. Fucking great. Oh, it's Romeo Pro. We meet again.
I hate missing pure Sivas, especially versus God regulars. That's so interesting. They raise, I three bet, and then a the big blind cold calls. So they never have aces, kings, queens. So my biggest concern, if any, is jacks. Oh, queen Jacqueline. Nice. So I'm just going to jam. Get max value versus nines and sevens and whatever the fuck he has. And I need more protection as well, right? I stayed off. Okay, cool. No, that's fine, you know? That's fine. I Yeah, I would really want to see a flop as well. What's that? Uh, race? What did you do? Uh, call that race? What did you do? Three bet. I call. I call. Uh, yikes. I see tons of people over betting or betting pop multi way now. Very interesting to think about that. Never do that pretty much. Could lose the sevens, could have eights, or shitty nine. But uh, generally, I'm going to be good there, so. All right. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's hope uh, a hand here or there starts working out. Nice versus jacks. Okay, very cool. Moving on. <laughs> I feel like we have to... I feel like we just go through this every single day now. <laughs> you know, where it starts just like, wait, what the fuck's happening? Fucking hell. Whew. Okay, nice. That's good. about the Pidetti house rates. I wonder if somebody's just like looking at R. Kelly and thinking like, 
and not thinking like when you, when you do some shit like that right where you're not thinking like oh shit he got caught and instead you just think uh it'll be fine So what's the allegations? Just like, s like sexual exploitation or something of women or trafficking or like what's the... Flat at pre. Do it. I'll try to KO you from Homegrim, that's the point, yeah. You will try. I could pause all my tables and fix my uh, currently playing chats. Uh, and payouts, but it's okay. Alright. Uh, let's see. 20 minutes, we max later, I just satellites. And afterwards, we're just going to register to 1k. Like what? What small pair did you have? <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're back to the start. Second at five thirty. It is fine. Girojin, yeah, I don't use that now. Our run has come to an end. Um, hot 11, big 33. In half an hour is the... The 1050. Nice surprise, Lex Online, got to love it. Have you ever run a sim though? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, six spots off the money. It's always kind of funny. Once you see this flop, you already know, like, okay, we have to just go all the way. I 
I think I'm gonna check and then bet really big if they check back. I think if they bet the turn, it's really strong. I guess we can just check and win now. It's trafficking. It's just fucking crazy. Man, it's also like some people are just fucked in the head, and I'm obviously it's not convicted yet, but when you hear these stories or when people get convicted, it's just so fu like you just have to be mentally fucking ill, right? Because it's not a money thing, it's a power thing, right? It's, it's a power thing. It's not like who just at a certain point just like thinks. Like if you have P. Diddy money, would you need a side gig? You know, you love traveling. Or you just think like, let's do something related to that. It's just fucking crazy. Damn. Hard out here for a pimp. Wait, what? Didn't he have King Jack? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, man, I've been seeing my hands wrong a lot lately. In a good way, though. Nice. $50 bounty. Whoop, whoop. I will take it. Squeezing queens. Mm-mm-mm. But tonight... Yeah. Okay. Uh, new power path. Thirty four. Alright, on break. I'm going to uh, try and do all those uh, fixes for the currently playing. I don't think it's something you guys really notice now. Boo. Why does that happen? Like, how do I not see all these... Uh, like when I'm winning hands and shit, this happens so often lately. I'm washed. Home game is started. Get in, guys. Ball of Mad Monk on my head and every single bullet that I uh, that you bust me in. Lex Army with a space is the home game. You don't have to apply even. Nobody has to let you win. It's public. Ten, 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 ten. <coughs> okay. Big one and nine. Can re enter a bunch still. Oh. Well, that's.
that sucks. I'll take it. it saves me a hundred dollars. Do what I do, I do. Okay. Nice. Let me show you how to play queens. Nice. Double floor straw. Mm. We got four bit jammed on here. Fucking hell. All right, let's uh, remind ourselves that we're on the bubble here. Oh, nice. Lead the turn. They flat, that means they're relatively capped, but they have an eight as well. La 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 It's okay. My tattoo is starting to burn. I guess it's gonna peel soon in like a day or so. Nice that was it representing uh, the good times and bad times and how often it alternated in my life and how the good times have won out. It's pretty much Lord of the Rings so far and since like six years it's been, uh, you know, the time since Aragorn was king. It's a period of peace now. Yeah. <laughs> the tattoo artist was so excited that the letter M that references to Mirta was drawn in Dragon Ball Z Majin Vegeta style. He was like, What are you a Dragon Ball fan? Yes. Sick. Hey, leave that bitch alone. See, maybe I should start bidding big on these flops. I like the idea of it. Maybe not with this particular hand. Let's see how hard they're going to be gunning for me in the home game. Huge bounty on my head. I mean, the buy-in in the home game is $1. You can still get in, by the way, everybody. Buying is one dollar. So they should get a lot of hands in. Nice hand, nice hands. Miggy Oxen wins the first one.
Hart. GG. Here's us versus Romeo Pro. Very, very good. See if he goes for like some disgusting, uh, if it's like 2600 or something, or if it goes towards like 7k. Nice. Is like short for Lexius, Lexington, a bit English. Lexius, the famous name Lexius that everybody knows. Um, no, it's not. It's short for Alexander, but literally nobody in my entire life has called me Alexander, so. It's kind of funny they did uh they used to do the draw of the 10k wcp heads up and they used to do the draw by just speaking it into the mic like what table you were and they were saying like oh you know uh phil ivy versus chris ferguson table two something like that and then they were just like uh and they were like lex veldu Felduie, Feldhu, Ace, <laughs> and everybody, and we're just sitting around waiting with friends, everybody laughing, you know. I mean, by the time he was finished speaking my name, I was already at my table. So I have to change a bunch of code in my OBS next break. I hope I can get it sorted. Show us. Oh, there's a command, but whatever. For people that can't watch clips. So you see, like, the that's the M. And then it's the good times and the bad times. Let's see. Yo, what's this? Four years. What's up, bro? Nice. Went all in for the Mad Monk. Uh, Miggy, it was a good, a good, uh, good decision anyway, bro. So nice hand. You should go all in there anyway. It's a great hand to four bet shove. Come on, man. It 
Sub safe film. What do you win for knocking out at home game? Ball of Mad Monk worth 26 euros. $11 mystery bounty, it went race, call, try bet. What did Navi Yuno think of the tattoo? Oh, they really liked it. It's kind of funny because kids notice immediately. Like, Yuno walked into the room and she saw me. She looked at my arm. She just stopped in her tracks, was like this. And then looks at me and looks at my arm. That's so cute. All right, so we're going to jam. Flatting here is terrible because all the hands that flat behind us do extremely well against us. Gorsalek is also very aggro, so... It's one of the wilder regs pre-flop, I would say. Huge win. Your legs will have good FC. You've made some profits in the near past. Have a blessed session. Thank you, fellow 30. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Fitna? Lex finally got the balls for tattoo. Nice, nice, Lexi. Ay, 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 bro. Don't call me out like that. Don't call me out like that. Been watching Lex for the same years. They know he has the same name as me. You mean you logged into twitch.tv slash Lex Veltuis? I had no idea. <clears throat> I just got warned that this channel contains gambling. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's Twitch... Uh, Twitch making sure they annihilate every single bit of views that poker gets, you know? It's gonna call, turn, give up river. Both our ranges are so strong now after calling the turn. It's Why the fuck does this fucking tournament keep popping up over there? Uh, very annoying. Oh, come on, if I do. Okay, set the light, set the light. I got the tattoo from a place called New Vision Inc. in Auckland Center. Okay, seven big blinds, but everybody's shorts. Let's hope we can battle with this one.
Uh, 18, 3 tickets. Yeah, we're gonna have to call this one. Nice, good start. Right off the bat. Come on, dealer. Who checks a five on this board? You can't. I hope the set is temporary. Uh, no, but it's fine. It is not, my friends. Clock today, what's up? Uh, who's Sum the one? Let's try a bigger bit. Why not? Would you ever move to kick? We got a crazy offer. Some streams been getting over 100k per month offers. Um, it's a hard question. Because, like, I could say no. I think I could get a pretty good deal right now. But I could say no. You know. Because I'm not. But what if... You, like, it's just stupid to say no. Right? That's what I mean. Like, it's just... Um, silly to pretend there isn't a price they could say where you're like, Oh, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Ooh. This is nice. This is nice. So, like, you know, uh, shit, who busted me from the home game? Nice squad. Fuck, where's the home game at? Oh, I didn't see. I hope we can catch it. Check called, check called, lead. Oh, I see. Razoran. 
nice, nice end. GG, good luck everybody. Two bottles of Madmon giving away. Okay, we're two out of ten. Two out of eight now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fix the payouts. I haven't noticed you on for a long while. Good luck. Uh, thank you to Green this. I've been streaming quite a bit the last few weeks. Pretty sure guys are rigged. Oh yeah. Just don't know how good yet. Um pot race from a mobile player. Six is hot, huh? Holy shit. Wow. I didn't even cover the bounty, that's not good, but I mean, I guess it's okay. Hey, Rob Hendricks, what's up, bro? What were our takeaways from uh, Netherlands versus Germany? How do we do? Are we winning the Euros? Or are we going to struggle to make it out of groups? Pretty wild hand to limp, by the way. King 10 suited. Like, were you just going to limp call on a final table of satellites? It's fucking horrendous, really. <laughs> I mean, I don't have other words for it. What the fuck are we doing now, you know? It's just like... Hey, let me trap King High in this satellite here. It's, it's kind of crazy, actually. What up, astronauts? Good luck with your final New Zealand stream. I'm streaming tomorrow as well. I added one. I wasn't saying that uh, before, but um, we found a way for the PC. I don't have to... So I'm donating this computer uh, to a teenager through Make-A-Wish Foundation, a teenager from Christchurch which is also New Zealand, uh, on the South Island, and the, this teenager has two heart uh, how do you say that? diseases or um, malfunctions, or how do you say that, um, conditions. And uh, so we had a match through Make-A-Wish, which is really nice, um, and I thought that I would have to pack up the PC and take it somewhere on the Friday, but... Um, we found a company that will come wrap it up and ship it to Christchurch for us so it gets to uh to that boy um in that manner this is pretty exciting glad we can help Okay, if this person can click the fucking hand, because I really need to do some uh, work on my OBS. Oi, oi, oi. All right, this hand's not going to do anything. I'll, I'll be back.
Do I have it in me to check the turn and just call his jam on the river? Broadway card, not great. In terms of like what I want him to bluff, of course he can still check call, right? So. Okay, I guess we jam. I mean, there is he, he is gonna have to hero call with like some jack X, 8X. Not sure if that uh, would be a call pre, but sure, that's pretty unfortunate. Um, it's actually not this short. Actually, to be really honest, um, the A3 suited, the A3 suited. Um, you say that so short. It's actually the shorter you are, the more A3 suited becomes a defend. So like if you're 70 big blinds deep against another gun, you would fold 8-3 suited. Um, why I'm surprised is because it's so heavily ICM, right? Like when you defend uh, suited garbage in chip EV scenarios, you're gonna see a lot more rivers. But in this heavy ICM scenario, I'm not gonna let you see rivers as much, right? Because I'm gonna pound the stack advantage that I have, which means it's gonna be very hard for you to go to the river with medium pairs or bottom pairs which a3 always gives you um and then with uh two stacks three stacks being shorter it's you're the stack with the most to lose that's why i was just surprised but girl yeah i unblock all a6 so i'm just gonna use this as a four by bluff let me see five pretty five I think this hand is perfect. I'd rather have this hand than Ace Jack here suited, which which is something you could normally pick for this spot, right? Nice, 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 nice. Aces, four deuce. Nice, my friend. All right, it's pure bubble. Okay. Uh oh. Aye. Good, so I feel like I held my own here so far. Whoa. Let's peel the turn together. Oh, diamond. That is pretty smart. Damn. I want chips. I'm greedy. Checking this back. Aces. Oh, thank fucking God. Okay. Uh, easy call. Let's go. Hold. Fuck me in the ass, dude. Well, that's actually what happened, yeah. Man, that's so fucked. So many chips as well. Look at that. I would have just had bang, 80 big blinds. Whoa. 6-5 versus King's on. I'll be very happy when I can change my overlay so there's no more confusion. Nice, look at that. Okay, let's hope this bubble pops soon. There's no push over <laughs> this table. Okay, I'm super fucking flustered because I'm changing a million fucking things. But I think I'm getting it sorted.
Jesus Christ. Um, I'll just show this. Come on. Come on, yes. Come on. Three out of four. What is it? Three tickets? Two tickets. Three tickets. I want fucking tickets. No, you can't. Ah! Okay. Come on. I think I call here as well. Because it's much more chippy V. If he limp calls me with some dumb hand and wins, then I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, this is nice. This is nice to be fucking million tabling while I have to change my whole OBS. Pretty sure I know what to do now. Come on, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. He's gonna call, isn't he? Queen 10. Fucking cunt. It's so annoying to get called immediately there. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay, congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. Nice. You all burn in hell. God, I fucking hate multitasking fucking technical shit so motherfucking much. Holy fucking shit. Why would you shove? Can't wait to read that. <sighs> um Yeah, I think the fives call it's okay. It's only five bigs. I think it's pretty. I think it's okay. Pairs are better than ace high calls anyway. So like five stairs is probably better than ace ten. You know. Okay. Cool. So we pure fucking bubbled a fucking seat. God. Is there guys? Is there anything more annoying than pure bubbling a satellite? Is there anything more annoying in poker? Holy fucking shit. Alright, so I think we 
Fucking did all this now. Jesus Christ, okay. I'm so fucking annoyed at the satellite. Ugh. It's all. spots of course I like a jam like nines and eights which is a problem but maybe has some ace queen you know king queen could go in don't expect too many issues from the small blinds I made a comment on your latest YouTube video star discussion. <laughs> okay, so he okay, okay. This is this is fucking funny. Wait, did he did he time bank? Um so he So 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 I check all flop, we check check turn, right? I fucking I, I I hit a two outer and then he fucking one outs me. And he flats pre flop. In the deepest fucking situation you've ever seen when there's never gonna be a shove behind you by the way. God it'd be so funny if I'm wrong and he didn't three but pre flop. Oh he did. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what a fucking situation this is. And then he fucking tank calls. Oh, he's probably busy, but still, like, fuck him. Let's test. Why shove ten four? Uh, I think I shove close to any two in that spot. Okay, we should be good now. Actually, the payouts and stuff got sorted, so that's good. The thing about the 10-4 as well is that uh, the big blind has to fold a shit ton of hands, like a sh fucking shitload of hands. And the small blind, as you can see, even if I even if I bust, I still have five bigs. So even if I lose the 10, I still have five bigs, and they're gonna fold a shitload as well. So it's uh, it's actually not that risky to shove 10-4, I believe. Poker Smasher, thank you for the raid. Nice. What's worse is when somebody bad beats you and then says sorry. Ugh, that's such a macho thing to say, I think. I'm absolutely 100% fine with people saying sorry to me after they bad beat me. It's like, what, so somebody, what if somebody's like genuinely just like, 
Yo, it's like, I'll take it, but sorry. You know, it's like in tennis. It's like, it's exactly the same thing as hitting a net ball in tennis. You are not sorry to win the point. You want to win the point. You just want to acknowledge the fact that you got to that situation with, with some help. So then you go, sorry, that's all. Well, are you going to give me the point then? That's what people, are you going to give me the pop back? No, I'm just being courteous, you know, shut the fuck up. Like, say sorry to me anytime. If you get, if you get mad at people saying sorry, you need to have, uh, I feel like, uh, you need to fucking chill. Um, but what did you say? It was around the Jack Tan suit called that busted you at the end. Just curious if someone put insert on it. Would understand if not. This is a bit out of context for me. Can you exp tell me the hand? How are we doing? Fine, fine, fine. Lex doesn't read YouTube chat, David. Wow. Satellite game strategy is crazy. Uh, it is, it is. Yo, Rocky Geo, thank you for the three months. Nice. Okay, good. We're stabilized. Okay, ice king in a big, nice. Okay. Nice. It's nice to have good hands for Zagorsalek because, like I said, he's really wild. Yo, Ray. Yo, Ray from Flex. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, you've all seen and heard about the Irish Open. I think Irish Open uh, seems like a massive amount of fun. People are doing a lot of fun stuff live, and Felix is actually vlogging slash streaming from the event itself. So make sure to tune in to him if you want to see uh, the lads about. Come on. 
What a fucking ace. This guy is a fucking lunatic pre-flop, so it kind of sucks. Okay. Thanks so much, Felix. Show him some love, guys. God, I hate talking to chat about Sala. And you guys aren't even bad right now. I will say that 100%. But I hate talking to chat after satellite bust out. It's the biggest satellite strategy and perceived strategy is the biggest the biggest gap in all of poker situations between what people think is good and what's what's good, you know. Nice. Okay. Um, I think just jamming her is okay, actually. Deuces, that's fucking crazy. Deuces is just crazy. Holy shit. Wow, back to 66, huh? Just like that. Bling, bling, blong. $50 bounty out here in the Battle Royale. When the ball hits the nets and drops onto the opponent's side, the sorry lacks sincerity. Could possess it, but it's like the sorry one bad beat the void. Um, yeah, but the other player still doesn't have to get mad about it. I'm not saying that it's a matter of lacking of sincerity. But imagine like the player in 10 is now across from the net. Just goes like, you don't mean that. You don't mean that. Don't raise your fucking hand at me. You don't mean it. It's like, it's like, what the fuck are you even getting mad about, you know? It's not so much of the about the sincerity, but I don't think I used to get mad at it as well, and then I sort of matured in that. To be honest, if somebody says sorry to me now, if they put like a really nasty beat on me, I just say it's okay, thank you, or whatever. It's okay, it's all good. Don't worry. Something along those lines, you know. Ooh, interesting, snazzy little potential pot. I feel like we're back, uh, we're back. They 3-bet me and check the flop. 
surely. I'm not getting raised at least. <laughs> I'm fine with them calling for a chop, you know, but... Okay, good. <laughs> thanks you, watching you play Saudis and perform better on Saudis too, so thanks mate. That's nice to read. Six to skull. You have to understand like bounties are worth a lot at this stage and have a one and FX bounty, so plus he has money in the pot. And a big stack. So I get it. Jump 10 jack suited display while pre flop rides. Could you explain? Um, it's definitely something that I sort of just picked up from good players is that they shove in position with good Broadway hands. Um, hands that you could 3 bet also because sort of like your bounty is immediately a discount on a call that somebody could make pre flop. Um, so you're just not going to get any faults if you just normally 3 bet. Um, and I think he's gonna, he's, he might fold some hand, well, apparently he probably doesn't, but if he folds Queen-Jack, that's already a massive win, right? Um, so, uh, apart from that, there were two shove stacks behind me, and if I flat, I don't want to fold my hand. And if I flat, and these guys shove, I can't call either, so I felt like this was the best way to just get chips. Swingy, swingy, swingy. That's right, so a good start here. One eleven k chips. sorry when it's just acknowledging there was luck involved makes no sense it's just being a good sport so yeah completely agree I completely agree I think it's really petty to get mad at that stuff Power jam. I think I mentioned this before, but you flexing your YouTube videos with a reason I started playing Pokies to watch L1 million 
like eight years ago. I have one million. It's so cool how there's like some quotes from poker that everybody knows, you know. Let's do a bankroll update as well since we've been uh, registering some big ones. Like I live in Jakarta, I was Bali. Amazing. I love the I love Bali a lot. It feels like in Bali you could just get whatever you wanted from it, you know? If you wanted really good food, you could get really good food. If you wanted to go party, you could party. You wanna go beach, you can go beach. You know it's you wanna eat cheap, you can eat cheap. It's like Yeah. It's just something for everybody. Okay. This is a interesting pot. Call from the big blind turn as a queen. Fuck. Oh. GG mystery bounty. Alright team, and I was gonna tell, that that'll be that'll like stream quality wise that'll be very good when we uh, when I get back to uh, Belgium because then I can uh, you know obviously have to be a lot more quiet now. See if Power Path has a new one going. Try to get in the Sun a million guys. It's gonna be eight million guaranteed, a million guaranteed for first. <laughs> oh nice. I don't get the squeeze spot or I don't notice it maybe very often. So I haven't been taking it the offsuit stuff I completely forget about. I mean even some like Jack A, Jack 9 th squeezes, right? Hard to remember it all. Come on, Stacco Salvas. Okay. Having sevens here to a small blind three bits. LOL. It's okay, it's a twenty two. Oh, 
Oh, it's gonna bet. Does Tom want to owe you money? No. Uh, King 10, I'm just gonna fold now, I think. Mm, with the, covering the big blind, I could also jam, to be honest. Did not see that, though. <laughs> Would you rather somebody tell you to eat shit because they had a one out or say sorry? Only one is a big move. Just say nothing. I'm just saying, say nothing is fine, too. You don't have to say nothing. That's not the question, though. The question is, should we be annoyed when somebody says sorry? So now probably the rumors about Duan being chained to play, but it's right, but it's true. <laughs> I see what you're saying. It's like everybody was making jokes about it, and then he's like, oh. I mean, be pretty fucked up. I mean, in the end, it's just fucking awful as well for poker rides. It's like one of the sort of old school heroes. It's not good. Boom, what is that? 117 big blinds. Whoa. Wow, they flooded. Holy fucking shit. This this guy played Jack Ten so fucking fast that I don't th even think that I would have called Jacks there. <laughs> Sometimes these spots feel differently in game though. Like when somebody checks a turn, they just feel capped, and then you know. <clears throat> <coughs> Want to make a scary movie? Hmm. Okay, big one and nine. Going towards the money or not? Okay then.
Okay, I have pocket aces and I limp under the gun. Very tricky. God fucking damn it. Yo. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can just win enough, so we're just gonna check. That's fine. A wild session, really. I feel like. So many big pots, so many swings and stacks, like lots of marginal hands, marginal spots, you know? Oh yeah, I was gonna update my uh, on-screen profit. It's always a good time to do so, especially after buying into like the daily high roller, you know? Oh, not bad. So 3k down. Not too bad so far. I don't think I'm re-entering the 530 bounty anymore. If I were to bust it. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Fucking poker Luffy, huh? Nice answer. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna keep betting now, especially when the board develops like this. First is the big blinds, a little bit more dangerous, of course. Once they flat, mm, I might just jam. It seems a little bit. Uh, I think they're gonna check raise straights on the turn because we're so deep and there's a backdoor flush draw and there's so much action.
If I'm wrong about that, then it could be a little problematic to bet it this way. And Belgium already was barely having any rig back, so if now Belgium doesn't have any stars going, that nothing really changes, I think. Belgian law is just one of the not so great ones. Okay, Stachosaurus are getting deep. Coco. Next I'm back, anything sexy happens since left the first range opponent shot five high. <laughs> wow, yeah, what didn't happen? Holy shit. A lot has happened. Romeo Pro gets in these like limp spots and then goes half pot, half pot, half pot a lot, it seems. I mean, maybe he just goes like 16 bigs now, but. Not saying that he's like predictable or anything, I'm just trying to observe and learn, you know? <laughs> I don't think I can do much. Check raising a lot of my stronger hands there. Hard easy. Okay, nice. Ace queen now. Ace king into ace queen. Nice, nice run outs. Okay, good, 23 book lights now. Oh, nice. Wow. Shout out to Peace Ugler. It's got payouts fixed instantly. Oh, no. Nice. Big pots. Oh, shit. I made it through the final setting for the 530 Harvard. Nice. Okay. Sorry. I was doing. There was a lot of stuff that came up uh, this. Uh, 
this hour. I'll still have to pick up my phone. A friend of mine is uh a friend of mine's dad isn't doing too well, so just thought there was news, you know. On break, I'm gonna eat, and then after, I think we're gonna have our Mad Monk uh, hour. Okay. Bro, what's up, bro? Maybe I'm a uh, maybe I'm a little bit of a bitch. I should just min race here and just go all in, you know. Maybe that's what real gangsters do. I don't know. I'm a bit hesitant at repping the quads. If you're like 200 big blinds deep, it can be cool once in a while, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's nice. What the fuck is this? I just don't think that only certain people will show certain hands there. Or like Broadways that I dominate or something. Club, please. Oh, uh, they have a straight, so we need a club or an ace or nine. Um. Okay. I think we can start making, uh, I mean, not like we're looking for tight folds, but in my head, I'm like, okay, that shows, you know, strength or whatever. But the moment we check the, uh, the moment we check the turn, uh, call the flop and this is the turn, our range really smashes this board, so. I'm going to jam aces versus Alex Chappelle here. Don't think it's a spotty three, but it's too light. So if he has tens, I just want him to get in, you know. Boom, holy shit, nice. 90 big blinds, $250 bounties. This is rough. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to call. I 
I think a lot of his 10x is gonna bet the turn or not to not bet the flop, whatever. So it's whatever. Win some, lose some. Not re entering. Too many people have busted. Too bad. Pretty hard run out. A lot of my 10x is gonna f is gonna jam the river. I have small bets on the river, big bets on the river, and this is like about as good as my big bets get. So, kind of feels like, uh, what can you do? bit dangerous to I mean it's not dangerous but so just have to be willing to call it off <laughs> on the river here if he jams because I'm pretty capped right once I check the turn God, I need a different fucking song Okay, so we have a big stack in the 1k, that's nice. It's the best and he played the poker in the best poker room in the world. Thank you. It's big praise. Uh, it's break time, which is really good. Do I miss anything? If I run, let's pause this. Okay, bear back, guys. Ah, fuck, I can't go on a break with hand in the 1k. Hit. Or I can't... Uh, Leave you guys hanging on that. <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs> I really, really, really need to make food. It's already like uh, this is uh, this this already means that I probably won't make it. It's so fucking annoying. Can't wait to have my microwave next to my fucking uh, desk again. Holy shit! Just click the fucking button, bro. Holy fucking shit! <sighs> okay, is this a meme? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Okay, bear back. I think I can just jam this, yeah? I mean, I can't call with fours, fives, sixes. <laughs> Maybe sixes. Sixes might be an exaggeration, actually. Just because I'm gonna have cards below a six. Ross just said we can always shove a little wider into Lex, not because he plays wide, because I run better than him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, again. Okay, that's good. Bro. Alright, this isn't the money. One card! Bang! GG. Bye! Good luck at the roulette tables. It's pretty fucked. Well, it's nice to immediately have a money jump though. Nice, nice, nice.
Um, I hope you're false. Uh. Yeah, what can I do now, huh? It's really hard for him to get to the river with a jack. Unless it's like Queen Jack or something. We gotta play some street poker. The nice thing is with this stack size is I could still like value bet sets, etc. Right? It's not like I'm jamming like 25 into 23. Oh, nice hand. All right. Uh, again. Uh, okay. Cool. We're gonna have to rely on our bluffing. Ay ay ay. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. I'm a little bit over losing hands. Even though I'm probably losing that one anyway, because if he doesn't hit a 10, I don't think he's checking. Okay, um, <laughs> I feel like I've been, uh, you know, also uh, Chinese water drop tortured. So that's why I'm a little bit high strung because of the fucking sound in my ear for the past. Uh... Okay, this is actually a really nice spot to just bet an all in. Or I could just hit a club. How about that? Oh my fucking god. I'm about to lose my mind, seriously. Okay. Oh, that's good. Well, no sense on the turn. That's very good. That's very good. I didn't think that he would stick around with anything sort of weak ish, you know, at the spot. But hey, good fucking reads. This is a pretty daunting river to bluff, though. I will say that. And now we're short, so um, yeah, this all happened uh, very quickly. I'm super happy about that. Oh my god, I'm actually really mad. It's that 5k bust out that kind of started. Um, that started uh, making it feel a bit salty. Okay. That's good. That's really good. It's also just, you know, like you have a really big chip lead, so when you feel that slip in, it's just very, uh... Scary. Alright, GG Alex. GG Alex, but that's really nice for us. It's like fucking R2-D2 strapped in my head, you know? But it's not even low on battery. It's been plugged in the whole time. It's been plugged in the whole fucking evening already. So it's not low on battery even. Okay. Alright. Okay. Here I am. Completely sane and unbothered. Happy, happy little camper. Nice. Too bad. Do it, bro. Seven big blinds. Don't give a fuck. Well, that's very cool because I have ace king, so. I wouldn't give a fuck now, would I? Hello, you have nine deuce? Oh, look at that. Boom, boom. That's uh, wild. Yo, Zeus, we want Lex Life, we want Lex Life. Yeah. yeah. I cannot express into words how much I hate the fucking breaks here when I have to get food. I'm just literally like full sprint, full sprint in the house. And I'm like, that's why when somebody's taking, taking 20 seconds to make a flop decision, it tells the shit out of me. But full sprint through the house, running back and forth, getting my shit. And then if I drop something, oh my god, I just dropped like a thing with rice and spilled it everywhere. Just 
drives me up the fucking wall. So <laughs> I hate it so much. And then it's like also when I'm max hungry as well. Okay, I'm just gonna play music eats. Yo, Mana Jax. Thank you very much for giving us up to spontaneous. Nice, thank you. I wonder if shoving in position uh, on specifically the Jack of Diamonds here could be good. I think it, uh, there's definitely some merit to it. Okay. Hand plays itself. Yes, hello fucking computer. Okay, I need to eat. I need to eat. I'm gonna lose my f Whenever three cards are connected versus a big blind, we can never bet big, just because of the uh, asymmetry in our ranges, right? They they have 8-9 offsuit, we don't. They have 4-3 uh, off, we don't. Uh, they have, you know, 7-6 off, we don't. So there's like 8-4 suit that they have, we don't. So I think I'm just going to jam this. Mm. Yeah, I think we have better. I think we have good, some good hands to flat and... I think this hand is really good to just uh, get it now. Hardy Z is unbeatable, as we all know. Hardy Z literally just doesn't lose hands. <laughs> I mean, it's the, this is a this is a Hardy Z flop if I've ever seen one in my fucking life. Four eight versus five seven five six. Okay, nice, 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 nice hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This guy is just the most insane sunrunner. And it could just be versus me. Like, maybe this guy's down swinging or whatever, but...
Nice. Okay. Still mean every word I said. Still mean every word I said. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna flat there. It's so funny that Hardy Z sees that hand now on stream or something, and he's just lo looking, and he already knows that he lost the last one in a gross fashion, so he's gonna be like this motherfucking whining cunt. Ay ay ay. The yeah, 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 is getting close to the patented giraffe gongers without a snore. Uh, yeah, well, I've been doing uh, yeah, 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 since about nine years ago or eight years ago since I started streaming. So, somebody else said that the other day too, and I'm not obviously Eric is fine. Um, not mean to see you, but it's so annoying because then it's like when somebody's like, oh, 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 you're doing the giraffe gonger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, not sure, but um. He has his own uh, version.
What the fuck? Did I do that for fun or something? That's so strange. All right. Oh. We ate. Okay, so one of the reasons, that's why on the break and I got back so stressed. One of the reasons I really, really, um, I really hate getting food here because I, like downstairs to the fridge where the food is, is a, is a relatively long way. And then um, doing that, making it back upstairs and then if anything goes wrong, I'm timing out tables, so I'm coming back. 
All my tables are beeping. I'm probably already too late. Drop some rice out of my uh, out of my thing, so there was like rice everywhere. Um, and all this while being hungry, which is not my best uh, state of mind, anyway. <clears throat> recipe for disaster over here but uh we made it <laughs> okay what's up Dutch King Lager all right so good stuck in a 1k we busted the 530 bounty a squeeze there with a uh, jack uh, one open, call, call, squeeze with ace, ace 10, sorry. Just gonna jam it on this flop. Could do it some, a little bit with queens or something, right? Queens, queen jack, something like that. Maybe king jack, ace jack. Queens, is, queen jack's actually easier to play as well, right? Over multiple streets, because if the 10 comes, you uh, have the nuts. Okay, I'm settled down. Why'd you change the label for the guy who raised 2.3 in uh, 215? Him? Focus? Because uh, he's a fucking sicko and I know that. So I don't understand why he's orange. Maybe it was at a final table because it fit his... I don't know. I, 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 I remember that I fit... That I said that his, his thing looked good with orange or something. Maybe I didn't change it back after. Like, здорово, здорово, братишка. Rewatching all Pogs' big game episodes. Who was your favorite to play with? Doyle. Easy. All right, tens all in. Two, three spots away from the money. The kids are awake. We can now start streaming, streaming. Let's get some fucking mad monk in my system. Now let's fucking go. Let's make this a session to remember. Oh, shit. I didn't update my thing yet. Uh, we're supposed to be here now. Yes, 36. Probably 35k. Okay, we're gonna call. Tens got a fold, which isn't bad. Romeo Pro limping a lot in bounty builders as people do these days. Case in point. Okay, over cards. No bueno, GG. Eight. No other. Well, that's, uh, that's not good, huh? Oh, sorry. I meant to go here. Alright, so let's take a map monk. One mad monk coming right up. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. What a seabed size here, huh? One and nine is all payouts up. Whoops. Um, so all in for two book blinds, you made it 12. Could be a bait, but well played if so. <laughs> oh no, not behind me. God fucking damn it. Come on, bro. I 
All right. Okay, cool. Very cool. Person behind just has to <coughs> click the call button. It's very nice. We're down to 15 bigs. God, that's so annoying about bounty builders, huh? Okay. Sleep. I sometimes think during WCOOP that at the start of WCOOP, I have to really get used to sort of like how crazy it is. And that that's, that that's a reason to uh, where I'm a little bit all over the place at the start. Um, but I think realizing now when I'm on this schedule or during normal sessions, I think it's just a sleep thing. The first few sessions of WCOOP, I sleep like four or five hours a night. And I can just tell, like, these short nights, I just don't do well with them, you know, playing after. If there's, like, lots of stuff going on. It didn't help that I had to change all that OBS uh, shit on the side. And I had some other stuff going on that just all doesn't help. It makes it too crazy, you know. It's just, I can't get into the session. It's just, you feel all over the place. Like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, time out, oh, time out. There's a hand here. Okay, fucking re-enter. Oh, fuck, okay, my fucking chat's not working. Oh, my payouts are not working. Oh, there's this... Discord thing that's going on. Oh, there's this work thing. Oh, there's a personal message. You know, somebody... All, all these things are sort of, like, necessary, but they all come at the same time, so... It's just a bit, uh... Fucks you in the head. If there was ever um, Ooh, nice, wow. And we doubled here as well. Ace five suited for ten six Olympri. Okay, okay, good shit, good shit. Why Doyle for you? Uh, I was just sitting next to him. Um, sitting next to him all day and it was just yeah just a special experience already back then and now even more so after his passing you know just got to talk to him all day <laughs> heard all of his little things that he said and his little quips and uh, one liners and he said a lot to me personally as well so that was nice Okay, nice turn.
All right. It's comeback time in this one. Bounty Builder 82 starting. Uh, busted quite a few tournaments there. They have one bullet, I think, in a 530 or two. Phenomeno starting soon. The fast. I guess I'm just going to play the Hot 22 as well. Just want to have tables, you know. Why play this way bounties? You must forget all the studies to play this tournament. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess, sir. I guess so. On Zeeland, in our new Zeeland, yeah. More than a few friends have made the joke here, here in out Zeeland, old Zeeland. Yeah, that was nice for him, huh? The ace queen, god spot. Uh, it's not even a god spot, right? There's still, still pretty. St the, my shove is still relatively strong because there's a twelve x iso. Huh? It's not like I'm just like, oh, there's a bind. For, there's somebody for two big blinds going all in, and I'm iso and jamming. Then ace queen is god mode, but you know, there's still some concern if I jam over a twelve big blind iso. <laughs> Okay. Mm, gonna call. Alrighty then. King Jack one time. Oh, so much equity. Oh, nice. Good enough to jam. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what can I say? Like, I mean, it's pretty lucky to have his king there, you know? What can I say? This guy just has to, like, you know, just. You know, it just has a good hand every time I go all in. It's annoying. What can I say? I mean, I'm saying he's happy right now, but. Streaming's never easy when you have all sorts of problems we don't know about. Perfectly understandable. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that, David. Yeah. It's just like at that uh, at those moments, it's just such so chaotic. You know, your whole screen is just going off. It blips. I mean, going to like, going through menus like this, going through menus like this, and then like, you know, changing everything, like deleting scenes and doing stuff all here and in all, in all these scenes on the left, like this, you know, doing it live. Meh. I think I do great against calls, very poorly against raises. What a turn. Wow, what a nice river, huh? We're also getting on the cusp of where I don't want to re-enter anymore, to be honest, so... That would just mean GG in this tournament otherwise. Look at that. Like I just doubled the starting stack, right? Like look at look at where starting stack buying in right now would put us. So we wouldn't cover almost anybody for bounties. And not just that. Like on top of that. Um we're not playing for the full price pool anymore, right? Because twelve people are already out. So that just wouldn't be uh, an ideal scenario. Even like looking at it right now, I was saying like we're on the cusp of not re-entering anymore. If I see this, I definitely wouldn't have re-entered. 
it's very important, right? You're gonna have below the average stack when you're buying late with a starting stack, and in bounties, that's pretty fucking important. And then on top of that, um, not the whole price pool is available. Okay. Are we cooking? We're cooking a little bit. Okay. Um Yeah. God, this is something crazy. Yeah, fucking eating my words over here a few times now. Fucking hell. Moaning it in big time. Fem. No. Come on, team. Better result with fives, please. I'm pretty lucky that it's gonna me like come on. <laughs> okay, ask us. Glorious. Um, meh. Another uh, first other players, I might uh, go for it there. Well, go for it as in like, make it five bigs. Okay. Ah. <sighs> 
Um, yeah. Go on a cruise. How recognizable do you think poker is on the boat? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Bet small, bet big. Check. Would be my uh, instantaneous uh, proposed line. Nice. Check where's the flop here. Sixty bigs. What's the rake like in a cruise ship? I feel like it could be either really good or really bad, you know? If somebody knows what they're doing, it's probably pretty bad. Or if they're just like, oh, let's have some poker here. It's probably really good. Okay. Uh, let's uh, fucking go. Nothing happens. Always like whenever you have a hand that you would fold but has some good capabilities. Um, make sure you scan the table before you act. Oh yeah, we're going to play 500 daily cooldown of course later as well. Nice. This in the money now is good. Ooh. No. Okay, it's gonna be a hard one. Had some potential for chops. Well, not really though. After queen eight four, it's going to be almost. Well, it's going to be very hard to chop. You need two cards above their kicker. To even hope for a chop. I love this one. Ihr werdet weinen. In the one cover, the set of five is going to be better just to call and jam the river, or why is it better to jam the turn? I think there's definitely a lot of hands that I can jam on the turn that aren't that good. And I think a flop bottom set is kind of a nice way to balance that. Much love to the family. Thank you, BCL Crude. Thank you for the five months. La Familia. Bet flop, check turn. I'm just uh, getting rid of like some ace highs or under pairs, or at least putting them in a tougher position, right? Wow. 
What the hell? Okay, it's about um Yeah they they say that uh is that too, too real? Yes! In fact, you want to see? It is real. I just got it two days ago. That's why it's a little bit reddish. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the kids say about the tattoo? It was really funny. Uh, so they uh, they walked in. You know, just walked in and she's like, looked at me and I looked at my tattoo. Looked at me, looked at my arm. And Navi asked why why I drew on my arm. It's cute. God damn. So I think if he checks and we hit a, we see the river is below a nine, we bet really big. Oh, you could definitely check through hearts. So I'm just saying like, there's, there are more good hands for them. So we can still bet big, but like, it's a lot easier to just go fucking massive. Uh, when the river's like the six of spades. <laughs> okay. Quite the flop uh, to check. I'm a little bit more salty today about shit that I see, but I'm fine with that. Not supposed to be some balanced individual. Checks the driest board with 10 high. It's just okay. It's just like, and it's annoying because <laughs> that got me in a spot. Yo, Dustin Minders, thank you for the brand new sub. So we lost a lot of chips there, and now we have 31 with blinds again. Wow, this tournament's been so give and take, holy shit. Just rewatch the tattoo clip. Is that margin symbol of Dragon Ball Z on the top of the face? Yes. Okay, we're gonna go for a stun here, of course. Okay, this fucking guy just has all the good hands at the right amount of time. Can't re enter. Bye bye. You get the money anyway. 
Super fucking annoying run that tournament. Holy fucking shits. Alright, it's cool. Good fucking riddance, I guess. That is such a frustrating tournament to bust. <sighs> I'm, so, I'm much more quicker annoyed today. It's all, it's all fucking sleep related. It's... Ugh. Yeah, the the M is definitely the the way it's spelled is a Dragon Ball Z reference. The way it's uh, made, but it's the it's it's the whole tattoo is about like good times, bad times, and how like everything has been good and stable, and I've solved a lot of my problems. Um, and that's been since Mirta forced me to be accountable. Pretty much saying like, hey. If we ever want to have like a future and stuff, we need to get ABC sorted. Um, and she was really motivating me also in terms of like uh, you know, like they, for instance, had a big uh, law with taxes where they um, retroactively made this tax law, of it meant, which meant that I had to retroactively pay so much fucking money, and it was sort of like digging my putting my head in the sand for that and then she just said like just talk to them and then i just went there talked to them and then we had like really good conversations following that you know and it's also because i went there and talked to them etc so there's just like a lot that happened that really really helped me get shit uh, on track so that's why the m is in there But yeah, the, when I saw the original tattoo, it had some sort of like um, symbol where the M is now on the forehead. It has some sort of like symbol, like a sketch symbol, kind of like uh, like the one in the bottom here, like that, and then on the forehead. So I just figured like it'd be the perfect place to put it, and you know, that also made me think about uh, about Dragon Ball Z. So it's sort of like a, also a cool reference back to uh, the fact that I like anime, you know. Okay, um, so we have a $250 bounty, man, it's uh, also like, <laughs> we just have no cash, it's nothing today, wild fucking day, let's see, yeah, yeah, you see, we have no caches, we have one, one bounty of $250, and we have no caches above $100 today, <laughs> And then we bubbled, uh, we soft bubbled to one k seat, we hard bubbled to one k seat. Yikes. Not the best day. Hallo schat. Hoe gaat het? 
Wat heb je schoot? Wat heb je schoot? Ja, oh, dat is gezellig. Hallo. Ja, maar kijk, dit kan een beetje hier zo. Oh, laat je hem wel staan, schat. Dat hij niet van de tafel valt. I have to do everything with my left hand now, which is super weird. Oops. But it really looked like the Emperor Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, inspired by that, yeah. I think a ten he just check raises first my bounty. Um ba 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 yeah, I think I can just bet though. Hey what up storm? Wat heb je allemaal daar? Heb je een macaroon? Hallo. Nee, die mogen we niet aanraken. Weer af. Ja? I'm gonna grab a coke beer back. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. Tell the headset to calm down. <laughs> um, so he doesn't check Ace King, he doesn't check Ace Nine, he doesn't check. Aces, so I literally don't lose. So I would check raise the river. Uh, I'm gonna limb raise this hand. Because I'm fucking class, that's why. Look at this. Oh, that's fucking fantastic, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna check um, Jam River, I think. Okay, I'm gonna jam. Wow. Wie so ein Gangster, oder? I mean, I should be able to put. Alright. No. No. What then? You know, there's poop. Poop. <laughs> That's one of her new words. A poop. Yeah, poop. Poop. Oh, Papa. En hoe zeg je mama? Papa. 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 <laughs> Papa. 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 Hoi Naaf. Naaf, leg eens op. Naaf, moet nog een beetje wakker worden. 
Okay. Okay. Wow. Wieder auf. Wir haben Navi mehr, das ist gut, Schatz. All right. Margin Lex, ja, yeah, Margin. It's kind of funny. I tried to bait Mirta trick her when uh when we're thinking of names for our kids. I tried all these fantasy names that I think are cool, Jace. I was like, what about uh, Goku? She's like, no, what is that? All right, so not much happening on the poker side of things so far. Nothing good. Um, Jesus Christ, there's not even like any points. Okay, whatever. So we stuck 3k. For as bad as today is going, it's actually not that not that bad. Stuck 3k. <laughs> so I guess we have that. Okay. Mirta also got it to Mirta also got it to Yes. Mirta has uh, tattoos from all her big travels. So she wanted a tattoo of this as well. This one. Um pa, 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 pa. what am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh yeah, I was uh, changing my title. Is that too early? No. Hey, Tropi. Hey. Where are you sitting? No? Where are you going to sit? Yeah, but you know, if you go the up, then you say just up. Up. Good, so up. We don't want to be gillen. You say just up. Try a word to use, guys. Poop. Yeah. Poop. Good, so. Aap. Ja, je hebt ook een aap, hè? Je hebt aapje. Yo, Ruby Z, thank you for the summer months. Nee, nee, daar mogen we niet aan zitten, oké okay, schat? Doe papa een beetje zenuwachtig van. Oké. Okay. Poep. See if she likes that. She always dances, so. Papa. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> 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 no, it's nice. Seems so happy with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ooh, us, us is the bus. 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 Nice. It's a big pot. Well, it makes me think about this guy that has a kid named La, La Nesra and his wife two years later is Arsenal backwards. Yeah, that's classic. It's so good. What are the three biggest sports in New Zealand? Soccer, Aussie football, rugby? <laughs> rugby, cricket maybe? Cricket seems relatively big. I don't know. Not really getting a football vibe here, to be honest. Oh, no, 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 no. Nee, nee, schat. Dit, dit is niet om mee te spelen, oké? Okay? Ja, dat is mijn tatoeage. Welcome to London, you mug. Oh, 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 you, you're a bit soft, you're okay, schat? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's was lastig for you, huh? A bit soft. Yeah, you hold up a bit of rammen. Yeah. All right. Yeah, two days ago I saw your balance for this year was around seven. Hey, what say I now, Jun? Niet doen. Even luisteren, schat. Ah. Ja. Niet zo stout doen. Weer er af? Ja. Oké. Bye bye. I was gonna check raise this should pretty much never be anything stronger than we have because of the sizing. Nice. Nice. Is that you know speaking English you understand better? <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's just learning words. Poop is one of her first words. She knows no in like three languages. I'm uh, just gonna jam this. It's one of those like right in between hands, right? Like you're, you feel like you're a little bit too deep to shelve, but you're definitely also a little bit short to raise. She's awesome. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Proud dad, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay.
All right, this is all good. I will, I will honestly say, for how bad today has been, minus 3k. You know, I had days last week where uh, you couldn't seem to hit water if you fell out of a boat. And then you lose like 9k, right? Like on Saturday, at a certain point, we were at 12k down. I think the big difference today, why it's not so bad, which is really nice, is that we are... Um, we only registered once in a 1k and once in a 530 bouncy. If I do both those three uh, times, then I'm 3.5k down more, you know? Give or take. Ba 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 ba. All right, let's see. Is there a power path we can play? Football is the biggest junior sport in New Zealand, bigger than rugby. Oh, wow. Okay. Eric Holreiser, what's up? Hey, Eric. How's it going? How's life? Ba -ba -na 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 -na. Uh, rugby's on the decline. Hmm. You see a lot of people in uh, parks here. Uh, I will also say play football, but also uh, like European football, but also lots of people uh, throwing uh, rugby balls around. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Yo, Eric Holreiser with the fucking tier 3 resub. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Good to see you, man. Wow. Tier 3. Wawa Wiwa. I love that. It's like a fucking orchestra. Da, 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 da. It's like modern day Beethoven, you know? Bum, bum, bum. All right, so this is the bounty 82. The um, my heart rate's not connected right now because it caused some interference issues with my uh, headset or with my mic. Look, 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 the double baits. The double baits. Pikaisa and Garrett Faridi Ferlitro. You have a beautiful family. Thank you, Thomas. 
What an amazing turnaround on Sunday. Yeah, Happy Neff, that was a wild session. I am card dead. <laughs> Fucking nine four diamonds. See. Yes. Ace five, let's go. Ten bigs, come on. Ace high versus king high. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm just fucking dead. Yes! We won! Not bad. Nice. Can I ask why you folded force early position, not raised to set mine? Um, it's all about stack size and the fact that it's a bounty builder. So the bounty builder will mean that people are going to hunt me. I didn't cover anybody as a high ICM spot on Final Table Bubble. And um, yeah, there was just no upside to raising the pots. I'd rather race with like king king eight off there than force because at least king eight off uh, blocks some hands that are gonna give me pushback. I could shove. I could shove like that's a that's an option, you know. But it's in my opinion, it's shover faults. So sweet, see the baby, not so much a baby anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When's your next live day? Doing an EPTs? Uh, yes. I am gonna play some more EPTs. Um, I. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna play EPT Barcelona I'm gonna do Lex live uh, which I would love to talk to you guys well I, I don't have a hundred percent date but it's close I would love to talk to the good people you guys over at poker.org for that um, but I'm gonna do Lex live. Whoa. 10 subs, Eric Holreiser. Holy shit, thank you so much. I see so many resubs in there as well. Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to the new people. Huge shout out to Eric Holreiser. One of the founders uh, and main drives behind poker.org. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen all that. They uh, have a really cool presence at live tournaments. They do live reporting in a very quick, uh, how do you say that? With the times way, actually. So, uh, shout out to them and check it out if you haven't before. And, uh, yeah, thanks, Eric. Eric and I have been friends for a long time. We used to work uh, together at Stars as well. Uh, okay. And um, Lex Live, and then I'm gonna play APT Barcelona for sure. Maybe East Cyprus. Let's see, how do I do this? Get.
Easy gem. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't even raise my hands. I love the song so much. Man, I've had so many times where I had to fucking bite my tongue or, or whatever. How you said that? Eat my words today after I said I had no shot or something. Okay. So yeah, we're adding uh, some live tournaments back in the mix this year. Money getting always works. I guess so. It's my own new playlist, yes, yes. It's my uh, Go Hard on Mad Monk playlist. Ace! <laughs> no, kidding. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's not really a pay jump that matters, I guess. Good, 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 Now we're revving up. Yo, Hippie NF, thank you for the three years. Nice. Thank you. What can go wrong? Ooh. Can my wrist can flesh? Uh. Yeah, I have this uh, currently playing uh, thing that comes in where you can see what kind of tables I'm playing. Yek 10? Nine big blinds? 37.50? Oh, this is a sweet one to win! Hard as steel. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're so close to a huge score uh, the other day on Sunday. We final tabled the Titans, and then everything went fucking wrong. Everything went wrong, but it's okay. All right. That's all good. It was nice to feel it again. And we had a 10k min cash, which is not bad at all. Uh, we have a flush draw here, defended the big. Oh, got some action here. Isolation. Okay. Scheiße. Ba -na 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 -na. All my crypto is stolen today from Trust Wallet. Holy shit. Oh. Nightmare. Nightmare, dudes. These are the most annoying spots, right? It's three bets. Okay, let's see if we can beat the god Sintaras. Well, we can't lose anymore, that's nice. Oh! <laughs> you have no power here. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Easy. I'll save you guys the sound effects, maybe. Share your playlist, man. Uh, God bless. This one is public, I think. Map. Just look for Mad Monk playlist. That's how I called it. Because this is my uh, go-to playlist after uh, I, uh, I'm i going hard on Mad Monk. And uh, if you just go on my username, I wish I could change my username. Well, actually, well, yeah, because I'm going to do podcasting, probably. So I probably want to post that under my real name, no? Rrrr. <laughs> 
We still have the Sonics. We still have the Hot 215 KO. Uh, we still have the 530 cooldown. The 1 and 9 cooldown, in fact, as well. Yeah. Good tournament, eh? Next time the Titans is yours. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Okay, we're gonna have to let this go. Can't really do anything, really. I mean, we're 5 out of 9 with 18 bigs. Tons. Send you some bangers on Discord, as I can appreciate you're a bit busy clicking now. Fuck! Wow, that's a big fucking call with Ace Jack, sir. Let's see. Ah, the music channel on Discord. Let's see what this is. Always welcome. Uh, down to do it, it's a McDot. Part of my English looking probably perfect time. I was just watching for something to listen to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what the hell? Bounty 33, GG. So focus, good luck. You're absolute legend. Oh, Mella. Now we know what Mella was doing in his free time when he was 16, you know? Being like this in school. I'm wondering why he went so hard and why he didn't use any gum. Okay.
I like it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. This can definitely go on a Mad Monk list. Where's Lebusk when you need it? Lebusk needs to go on this list. Okay, played my first live tournament at Irish Open, managed to get to level 11. You're at the Irish Open? I'm jealous. Seems like people are having a great fucking time there. Come on. Suited Broadway. We need this win. If we win this, we will even for the day. And that should be a comforting thought. Just want to hear them. Wow, kings just wake up, huh? Okay, we have our first casualty. Guzma, Guzma. I um. Uh, yeah, I will play this hand. In fact, I will not give in to terrorism. Aha, no comments. <laughs> Tom the Knarser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, too bad. Uh... God damn it. Uh, Pooh, is this good enough to jam? I think so. Let's do it. I think so. 
Pseudo Broadways, excellent jamming hands. I also get in a lot of trouble when it falls around to this player, right? If I min raise with these two stacks short, I'm really gonna be struggling getting over to that side. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on! Come on! For the ages! <laughs> yes! 175. Okay, I like this part, but the t makes it a bit too chaotic for me. <sighs> Very impressive we played last Sunday. What's up, Gert the Bow? Thank you, bro. All right, I never three about this. A huge leak of mine, just so you know, guys. I can say it out loud now, now that I know. <laughs> now that I'm going to fix it. Now that I'm fixing it, I'll fix it. Yeah, fix it. Thanks, bro. Well, thank you, bro. Bro, 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 bro. All right, see you later, Eric. It's uh, I, I I completely see what you're saying, Mela. The one problem with me is that it has a little bit too much bells and whistles for me. Uh, uh, nine big blinds, you say? I mean, I could just jam this, right? And not lose any action. <laughs> it's a bad flop. I'm not kidding. It's a bad flop. What? You have kings and queens. You're just going to stack off? Other side. Should I just call on Jam River? Uh, bad flop, I told you. I mean, it's nice that we have this setup, of course. But, um, yeah, maybe I should just get it in pre, though, because it's like, I mean, you know, nine big blind three bets. <laughs> okay, this is the one that concerns me, actually. I love how I say the too too much bell too many bells and whistles and then next song's like blip 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 I hope I fucking survive in tables oh wait I have the sprint here Should I just play the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's play the big 55. Fuck it. 1k first. Who cares? But I just want to play tournaments, man. Brrr. Another player bit the dust. How? You ask? Oh, that was me. That was me doing that. I did that. Team Pro! Team Pro! Team Pro! Team Pro! Alright, this is everything. This means we're gonna win every fucking hand. I have to pee so badly. K 
can't be defeat. Stinkfly, I swear to fucking god, mate, if you moan one more time about me winning hands, it's the only thing you do. Wait, did you? Oh no, great show, Lex. How nice, let's go. Oh my god. Oh baby, a triple, walk right in. Oh my, I feel so bad, Stinkfly. I was confused, I was confusing with somebody else. <laughs> person like the most supportive person on planet Earth. <laughs> fucking number one fan is the old people in the crowd for Phil Ivy, you know? Ay, ay, ay. That's bad. And here I am. Yo, Stinkfly, what's up, bro? How are you doing, my best friend? Hi, <laughs> Can't be defeat. Max, oh, thank you for the 70 months. Sorry if I'm a little bit late getting back to uh, subscriber. Uh, it's because uh, my new alerts need to uh, have uh, alerts attached to them. Uh, we can lead here because the... Oh, the ace is not on board. <laughs> if the ace of diamonds is on board, that cuts their flushes through half almost or more. Uh, it's going to fold here. I just don't really know. Whatever, man. Three head, three way. Fucking... And, uh... Kings! Yeah. Yeah. I see you, Ted. I see you, Ted. Oh. Oh. Yes. Thirty bigs, thirty bigs, bigs. That's how you know you're a true Kiwi. Bigs. I like the bells and whistles, but I get what you mean if you don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just gets a bit busy. Sometimes I like those songs a lot when I'm not streaming. But, uh... Six, six. 
Team Stingfly. <laughs> I can't really flat. Chip leader's behind me. Wow. <laughs> four, 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 four. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey guys, we have a uh, wonderful Discord where you uh, have all the kind of different channels. So there's a deep run channel where you get notified when I have a final table. Uh, oh, one sec. Um, what's this? <laughs> um, so, and then we also have like a general chat where we discuss uh, all kinds of things. Of course, uh, there's a giveaway channel where we do some giveaways. People motivate each other through the fitness channel. Image memes is, for instance, where I posted yesterday that I uh, got a tattoo. As you can see, that's me. <clears throat> there's also a very active poker forum where people are uh, in threads posting uh, about strategy and getting replies from a lot of people. It's very nice. Come on, man. Oh, this is hard, huh? <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you can post in brags and trophies. In brags and trophies, uh, if you post the biggest ROI score of that week, you get a ball of Mad Monk. So this is a recurring, uh, recurring uh, giveaway. Every single week we do a ball of Mad Monk giveaway in there. Um, it's the easiest way to stay up to date about anything. Sixes are so hot. So yeah, it's, the, it's just the best way to, to stay up to date on anything. Congrats to all the winners, of course. Um, and here also my stream spots. So if you want to know what my studying is like or the spots that I'm curious about, I run them and post them. And uh, here you can see... You can see I post the replayer link and then I post screenshots of the things that I find interesting and write a little bit and then people reply and I reply to those people. Uh, so that's exclamation point Discord if you want to join that. Or in the YouTube channel you will see Discord posted as well. Uh, the link there. Okay. Okay, we will be calling with this. Cover the opener. Can flop straight and flush. It's unlikely to be dominated, these cards. Okay.
Meh. Okay, let me take a break and I'll be right back. Uh, that's like this. A lot of ice and pressure here. Um, even though the next page jumps only. Man, the difference between this and first is, 11, is six and a half K. Wow. Um, I should be able to put a lot of ICM pressure, even though it's a 2k money jump, 2700, I guess, because they're pretty wild. Why is this fucking you? Is this just every hand? Is it gross that I can't hold back laughing when I see you rage? I find it so funny. Not that I'm happy seeing you mad. Yeah, bro, I get it. It's fine. I get it. I'm glad. I'm actually glad. I'm not insulted. Like, I'm glad somebody's happy while I'm not happy, you know? Because I'll be raging regardless. So you being happy about that doesn't change anything apart from the fact that I make somebody happy, so... But art! Fucking dog! Piece of shit. Alright, after blood sometimes, you know? I mean, they're way too wide, right? Yeah, they're sure they're gonna call also, but this doesn't mean that I can never bluff. <laughs> So fucking insane as well. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't fucking bluff my ace jack. Okay, okay. That's so wild though. Holy shit. Like, what? You know, what on earth? All right. It's call button bigger than Florida. Uh, also on ice legs of this. Okay, we still have a good stack though. That really sucked though. I mean, honestly, like, I could jam this hand, but I mean, not for 40, but what if, I mean, this player could just, like, okay, call ace 10, you know? Very dangerous. Okay, this is really good. Let's please break out. Okay, please. I almost want them to check. Okay, let's just bet fucking massive. Well, if Lex ever jams fours here, you can call with five six because it's a flip. Rrr, 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 rrr. I just hit. Why do I have to do it the hard way? Jesus, mother fuck, dude. You know what I had to do versus this player? <laughs> to get these fucking chips every time? Alright. Not, not only did I have to survive like the fucking Chinese Chinese uh, water drop headphone torture, you know. In the meantime, I'm also just having to survive like fucking mouth breathers from chat, you know. It's like a triple assault. This fucking guy runs so fucking good blind versus blind. It's unbelievable. It's like four hands in a row. Just turns a pair. Oh, yeah, I have a 10. Oh, that's cool. I float the flop and I turn a fucking pair every time. <laughs> I call. I call. Oh, God, I'm good. Good. Great. And then we play four bet pot and I bluff the shit out of him. But no. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't you fucking worry.
this fucking guy, this is this this is unreal. Every fucking turn, blind first blind. You know how expensive that is? This guy just gets there every fucking turn. Every fucking turn. This guy's just like, doesn't have to do anything. He's just like, I call the flop. Let's see what happens. I call the fucking flop. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, there it is. Another flop pass. Wait, what's happening? Pre-flop doesn't matter. What is on the turn? Oh, look at that. It's my medium fucking pair. Doesn't fucking matter what I have. Oh, oh, there's a 10. I have jack 10. There's a jack. I have a straight. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, you know how fucking frustrating it is to play against somebody like that? On a big final table, blind first blind? Do 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 do. Jack. Do 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 do. Oh, look at that. It's a turn. Oh, he has an eight. <laughs> Great fucking effort. It's uh, some fucking well played. Uh, well played hands there. This is a fucked up spot. Okay, no split at least. We're 30 big blinds deep. I'm not actually, they cover me. I'm actually not using that much ASEX to bluff with. Free flop because I don't cover, right? So I'm defending more. Well, I mean, Mr. Bleeder. Sorry, I just have a big final table uh, hand. Did I just miss the corner cool sellout or no? I won the final table hand. No, I did not. Um, okay. That's nice. Uh, let's see, what is this name? Okay, this is nice. Uh, went three way. Oops, went three way. I bet it's very unlikely that they call anything that is useful there. So it's a nice spot for me. Well, I cover these guys by a bit. I still can't call all ins, but still it's nice. Um, and what do I need to do? I tell the mods that I added this table to the main screen. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. I feel like he's either going to do it with a really bad ace or a really bad king or something, or with something nutted. Um, but I do really well against kings and queens, and... Um, okay, that's that could be really good, could be really bad. Whatever, we'll see, right? Like I, one thing I know though is I I the, I know two things. I'm gonna check back and I'm gonna call a lins or a shove on the river. The weird final table spots. So we don't get snapped. Let's do this. There you go. Nice. So this is exactly why I uh, 
flat at that hand be to keep hands like that in <clears throat> and to play against hands like that. If I shove, I'm shoving into hands that either call me and crush me or, um, and I feel like it's my hands too strong to fold. So really a nice spot there. Kind of, it's interesting uh, that he didn't shove the flop over raise. Let's go back to the like, regular playlist. I don't want to stick on the Mad Monk playlist for hours. Okay, um, and I'm going to register the 530 cooldown. I really like playing this tournament lately. Oh, this is good, we're contenders now. We don't know yet where Lex Live will be now. Most of the people that are helping me organize it from Stars' sites are at the Irish Poker Open now, so I'm not sure if there will be any news this week. Uh, Cleverino, yeah, 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 Cleverino. <laughs> okay, we're doing good, doing good, 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 good. What a cliffhanger! Yeah, I, I had to. I was raising on the final table, and I was like, "Oh, the live stuff is more important than the the rerun." God, let's not get too excited over here. at Twelve fifty. Tens. It's kind of weird that I haven't run into. Whoa! I haven't run into Roma tilts all day, even though fields. I've, I've been playing all kinds of fields, big, small. So guys, I'm streaming tomorrow as well. Make sure that you uh, pen that down in uh, in your diary. I fucking love this highlight every time I see Canal with Alexa, impression of the guy hitting every turn. Oh yeah, I was mad. <laughs> I mean, I'm mad more often than not, but... King's all in. Let me think about what to do with the king, queen, jack. Uh, 50 bigs. Um, I don't very often want to flat three bets on final tables by stacks that cover me, but I feel like this scenario is a good one to do it. It's an absurdly big three bet, by the way. Like absurd. Like 4x in position is just. It's gigantic. Man, Navi and Yunab is screaming so much. Like, not just like because they're unhappy, but. It's almost as if like their regular volume to convey certain things has just been to scream. It's just like you know, it's like excited, She's like, nah, 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 nah. and then Nabi's like, nah, 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 nah. like stalking back.
There's Joey Gongelhoff. Queens. Seems like we have one option here. Let's uh, check on that turn with this time. Was next some player would have likely played wrong. Uh, it's almost hard to play that wrong, you know. He's also gonna have like a a bunch of kings, queens, jacks that don't believe that you have an ace or something, right? Who knows, maybe betting 10% on the turn is the right play with my hands, so... I, uh... I'm just doing what seems right, but... Welcome everybody to uh, Discord that joins. See a lot of people join. It's nice. Good to have you. Ace Queen beats Ace Jack. 65 big blind pots. Is that a pre flop ISO yam? No. Well, so like, damn, I plan somewhere. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I, 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 I'm pretty good at updating the mods. You know, I'll be here. Thank you, dumb devil. I'm gonna limp raise this hands. Making a lot happen with very little here. Five thirty cooldown. Okay. It's always kind of nice, like you bet the turn and then they check raises to 30 and you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. It's kind of surprising like last time he made it eight now he makes it seven i was thinking that he would have like you know sizing split between like five and a half and and eight then or something and now he makes it seven i don't know maybe a bit all over the place i don't i don't really know
Uh, I think I'm gonna jam. Nice. It's so much money in the pot, it's a big bet. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a strong range, right? He's just equity denying. There's some hands that he wants to go two streets with. Hands like nines or tens or maybe ace eight, I don't know. But um, yeah, I think there's enough in the pot in that sense. Uh, plus I, I have really good emergency equity, right? Pair in a gutter. <coughs> Going really well this final table. Like I said, I'm doing a lot with very little. Let's say I registered a hot 215k. Oh, uh, bounce bill 215. Oh, yeah, that one too. It's always weird because at this stage of the session, I always feel like sort of like it's over. But it's not. We have the 109 cooldown, the 500 cooldown, we have the, the 600. $55 sprint. Uh, Supersonics are on. <clears throat> then the Hot to 15 KO starts in an hour. I still play that. So what I was going to say is let's register all those tournaments. And then uh, and then we and then we can look at the bankroll total and just start adding stuff as I cash perhaps, you know. <clears throat> I have four six on two tables, so I saw this third six, a uh, second six, and I was like, whoa. This is really nice, they no longer cover me. So, you know, they can still be 3 betting, of course. It's just gonna happen a lot less. Do the other players see it? You see, I don't know that, Armando. I still don't. Damn, I'm excited about Lex Live. I'm so glad you guys are so excited. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So my strategy becomes more aggressive towards raising. First, I had to limp a lot because they had a bigger stack. So I was doing some limp raising stuff and now I'm going to work more around like, you know, raising, four betting, that sort of thing. Um, because if I limp, they're not going to ISO as much. So that works for calls, but it also means that... Um, and when I raise, they can like min three bet or, or shove whenever they cover me. Uh, but since that not, that's off the table now, then I can start raising the small blind more because now I am the one that can put the pressure and has the... The ICM pressure, right? This is a really good spot for me to open because I cover the button. The big blind is the shortest stack, and then the chip leader is in the small blind, which is the worst position for them to be in uh, to play versus me. Would it be possible to get a command for this life now? I mean, it, it, it's it's already like on the screen. Uh, uh, so every two minutes, it's on the screen for 45 seconds. That should be good enough. You can cross out the payouts uh, 9 to 5, by the way. Uh, it's, um, uh, I think I want to 4 about this. Okay, let's go. Um. Oh. 
doing a lot with a very little. Um, I can't cross them out, so my payouts are now all like it's like a big automated system, pretty much. So I can't really. Uh, oh, this might be bad on the pure bubble. At the very least, oh, it's already on. Is it hand friends? No, then I, at the very fucking least, I should be time banking. I could even if I shelf, I get called. If I leave one big blind behind and I just time bank, I could time bank myself into the money there. A big boo boo. I'm gonna ask the stars chat. The turn we get counterfeited, that doesn't mean that we should stop betting per se, though. Still a lot of high cards in their range. They could even have two sacks that we still win with a three against. Nice. Interesting spot, though. I think it's something I want to flat. I think that's pretty good at this stage. I don't feel super comfortable with three bet calling it off. It's something that gets forgotten about a bit sometimes, right? Like, um, the big stack also has uh, has something to lose in pots. It's not just uh, it's not just uh, the short stack that has the danger of getting knocked out. Losing thirty big blinds would be a disaster for me, right? So, please don't have ten nine. <laughs> nice. Hey, side good. I guess small blinds. Mm. Please check a hand that you're gonna regret not bluffing with later. Ugh. A seven. <clears throat> Why don't you just have left mouse click to label players? What? How the fuck doesn't work? Yeah, I'll make some more uh, learn with Lex over the over the summer. Nice to come to stream, seeing the fun time. Well, thank you, Yoni. We're now in the money in the 22 mini battle royale. 9k first, or let's say 7k first, by the way. <laughs> Fucking crazy tournament. <laughs> Location of Lex Live known yet? Uh, I have a pretty good idea, but we're not 100%. We're still talking to the casino about uh, finalizing some details. What hands exactly do you target to folder with the three bets? Uh, which one? I three bet uh, a lot. Uh, the last 10 minutes. What are, you, are you talking about four bets? Did that come on screen yet? Check 
Checker is pretty big here. I don't necessarily think that he has a lot of ASEX in there. Unless it's ASEX of clubs. Um... Man, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice fucking life, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try calling without it. Okay? Yeah? <laughs> Tough guy. Okay. $343 bounty. Come on. Pocket sixes, get him in. Stack him, stack him to the top. Oof. No. Oh! Oh my god. Nice. Wow, this is uh, turning into quite the final table uh, run. Nice, nice, nice. Top three. Look at that. 1500 plus bounties. 800. Oh. GG is so salty, but it's so true. It's like whenever, like, you river a fucking flush, bro. Like, don't, don't act. Don't act all fucking smart with me. Absolutely killing it, Lexer. Thank you, Klitsy. Uh, there's a lot of pressure to finish top two. $700 money jump. <clears throat> Alright, so it's the 5.30 cooldown. You wanna hear something crazy about this, uh, this algorithm or this program that uh, Zuggler has made? So for the table naming, right? It's autom I put this table here, and it automatically scans this table, right? And then puts in the title uh, what it is. Um, if I put a different table there, it changes the phenomenon. That's how quick it is, right? So here, I put this one back, boom. And then it switches back to the... <laughs> 5.30 cooldown. The sick thing is, it put this down as the 5.30 cooldown... So then what I what I say to this program in OBS is like, I want this to be called a 5.30 cooldown KO. From that point on, I never have to change that anymore. It now just knows that if this tournament's on there, it needs to be the 5.30 KO. It's honestly, it's... It's really fucking crazy. I mean, I have the nine, I have two pair, I have the nine of hearts, fucking hell. There's gonna be so like 5x, I don't think that he can bet a straight like this. Oh, there's gonna be some hands like 4-5 with a heart or something, right? Or like king x with a heart. Wow, what a value, but I wasn't expecting that. Hello, Jonas. Hello. Hello, hello, who got he? Come you so terug? Wow, what a value, but I like I wasn't expecting that to be honest. 
Thought that ranges were a bit uh, narrower than that. Okay, now let's uh, easy call by the way for the jam. Surely you cannot jam like four times in a row. Insane noob. This guy is really, really well pre flop. I mean, it's just button clicking, right, at that point. Clicking buttons like jamming uh, that one's man, that's brutal. For a forty dollar bounty, seven hundred dollar money jump, and it's just eleven hundred bucks. Hmm. Hello, schat. Hoe gaat hij met jou? Ja, gaat goed? Heb je het niet zin? Ja, wij gaan. Ik ga naar mama. Ik ga naar mama. Ik ga naar mama. Is that limp? I almost feel like I'm overplaying my hands, right? That my hand is sort of like... Oh, sorry, that I'm... Uh, not getting enough value from my hands playing it that way. Yeah, the table naming. I mean, it's literally like I've been playing like 12, 13, 14, 15 tables, right? One of the reasons why I can do that now is because he uh, he has changed those like uh, uh, he has changed those table names like that. We really want uh, Ace King to win here, even though that's a bounty. I mean, you still win a lot of chips if Ace King doesn't, right? Now they have both have 30 big blinds. How do you get the river and fold over? Yeah, that's true. I agree with you. Zo, heb je een kussen meegenomen? Uh, I think if he has like 12 big blinds, I, pff, maybe I could jam here. I mean, folding is a bit crazy though. Hmm. 
I mean, I think I, I don't have to be paranoid. I'm just thinking a lot about like I played three handed with uh, Darwin in that 1K knockout, and I just learned a lot from the way he played as a chip leader. Because in bounty builders, as you can see on the left, like the pay jump from third to second is by far the biggest, and it's so important to other stacks to get there. So on the final table, I don't have a spot with more ICM pressure. I think you could say than this, just based on payouts, right? So this is the spot you need to exploit the hardest. And I noticed that playing against Darwin. He made me realize real quick, <laughs> you should play that spot. Them. Nice. Come on, fuck this guy back. Fucking can't die, holy shit. Annoying. <laughs> At ten seven hand is so so annoying. Uh, shoving now has less purpose because there's a 50 big blind stack, so they're not incentivized to make as many crazy falls, right? Money checks wherever you must have the nuts. No, I mean, people are more balanced than that. People can bet, bet, check with uh, really strong hands. Oh man, I just need that extra little push. These hands are so costly. Holy shit. It's 320k pots. Like fucking hell, he's he's pretty much dead. You know. If he uh loses that. Annoying, but okay. Fucking 18 bigs. You actually added my exorcism track. What a legend. Hope you're having a great day. Here's another one. Dream plan to Mighty Machine. Can you request it next time? I don't wanna I feel like I'm not I'm not in the mood right now. It'll take me out of the you know what I mean? Out of the nice grind.
This guy is running really fucking hot. I need to get falls from like a random six, seven of diamonds or something, right? Um, or six X or something. Just pressure those kind of hands. Nice. That's good. Yeah, queen four with the diamonds. Called the flop. See these two play really big pots. We call with a ten and a king of diamonds. Nice hand. It's good. Wow, stacks are so even now. Mark battles, redemption freestyles really good. I haven't heard of them, no. Call me with queen nine. Nice. Intense, very intense three hundred battle. These guys are very good, very aggressive. But calling easy. Wow. Okay, limping is king. The cooldown caught up in blinds. Uh, gentle is not the way I would, the, the word I would uh, describe you now with. Holy shit. <laughs> oh shit. Cool. Come on. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this will uh, put the satellite title automatically in vision soon. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> oh, I should not scratch my tattoo. Whoops. Five out of nine, he had a nine as well, so that's some luck on my side. I need to show those as well, of course. I mean, a lot of this is just also uh, sort of like tension, adrenaline release, right? You lose a pot, I need to sort of like shed that baggage and then move on.
There's ten reserves, nine is solo. God damn it. Nice, good, good, good shit, good shit, good shit. Uh, I can uh, raise or jam other hands. Uh, this hand just plays too well versus his limps. He's gonna limp a lot of the king X and jack X that I dominate, right? Um, so I don't wanna sort of go overboard and jam myself out of scenarios that are just really plus EV for me. It's kind of the same when your head's up. You don't want to jam ace highs on the button, right? Because then the big blind falls and you, you have this huge advantage if you go to the flop as well. See, now this... This is a really good jamming scenario. That's fucking classic. Interesting. I wonder if playing one table is harder if you don't play multiple and so you need like the distraction. No. That's a fish thought as well. It just means that you don't have discipline or that you don't have a plan, you know? With all due respect. It just means that you play bad even though you don't have anything to focus on uh, don't if you don't if you don't have, have distractions it's just easier even to execute a plan when uh when there's less other distractions so wow look at this in the phenomenal jamming this on the final table no 10 9 ah. okay side pot oh, four big blinds four whole big blinds <laughs> Why have you stopped learning? Or why have you stopped recording learn with Lex videos? Because they barely got any views at the end. They actually caught up a lot in views, so they actually got a lot in views now. But um, it was just not something that worked every week. Now that people have consumed a few, it might work to uh, to get a few back in. You know. The one thing that I notice, uh, the one thing that I oh nice. The one thing that I heavily notice uh, is since I stopped uploading stuff like Learn With Lex, my YouTube stream views have gone down massively. I mean, I have 1500 now, which is really good, but I used to be at like 4K on YouTube. I'm just not gonna beat this motherfucker in any fucking all-in or what? Just like... <laughs> it's just not gonna happen or fucking what? Like, what the fuck do I need to do to get this guy out of there? Holy shit. What a fucking joke. Did he just race? Wait, wait, I need to see that hand. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, otherwise.
Did he just... Oh, did he limp gem? Oh, okay, that's great, actually. I like that. Strong move. Alright. Okay, that's a big one. This, this fucking guy is, it's impossible to exterminate, it's crazy. I've, n I've never seen this. This guy just won like eight all ins in a row. Nine, maybe. On the final table. Unfortunately, six of those were mine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this fucking table's a joke. Alright. We're back. Alright, anything below fifty I call. Wild. Wild fucking three hundred, this is crazy shit. Fucking drives you mad. I feel like every every single half hour there's something that absolutely drives me fucking mental.
I'm just gonna jam actually. Jack 8. Nice. I think jamming was a great decision there. Oh, nice, he's tilting. Quite good. Heads up. That's good, that's good. Uh, we'll see what we do. If he has like a 6x, I think I'll just jam. I never jam this much, but it's just the good hands to jam. I be thinking, and there's no way I'm gonna lose versus Lex because he's on dark tilts, but not true. Just a tad bit mad, you know? Wait, just Swarce. I mean, this fucking guy is a, a subscription on the turn, heart. It's just, you know, it's easy. It's easy for little bro. Sunday cooldown, 109 turbo. It's a battle of the ages, guys. All right, all right, all right. Okay, that might win. <laughs> Are you fuck? Okay. Oh my god, I almost moaned in chat. I could just sit out versus this fucking guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny, dude. You are one fucking funny guy. This is the most hilarious heads up I've ever played. Still a nice score though. Tough final table, 7700, not bad. That is legit the funniest fucking final table ever though. Fuck, man. I knew I, I had to pay attention to that. <coughs> okay. End of a YouTube video, very bad. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Bob boy, thank you for the three months. PVB, thank you for the fifth three months. Sorry guys, I will get sub alert sounds. Um Okay. Here we go again. Okay.
Sometimes you have this like nasty feeling, right? I think it's like irrational fear that you get check raised. It is also irrational just because you know how like disgusting the spot would be, you know? Very nice, hitting a good amount of hands. Hey, boat is live, holy shit. Wow, thank you, Alex. Alex, newly signed uh, GG Pro, is uh, making her way in poker for a long time now. Holy shit, welcome everybody, that's fucking crazy. Wow. Welcome everybody. How did uh, how did Alex do? Yeah, I was on break. Obviously, you guys know about the lay now, though. That's nice, guys. Uh, if you haven't watched her, follow Botus Live. She makes a lot of cool content, some real life content, some a lot of poker content, and there'll be more now even. Uh, so I think as well, she's been uh, dabbling in poker. She played tons of uh, high stakes tournaments all across the globe. Has just signed a deal, like I just said, and is just gonna play more, I guess. Also makes uh, chess content. I play a lot of chess. I'm a 1300 ELO gangster, you know. Uh, I've been playing chess since the summer. Um, so, I love chess. And uh, both Alex and Andrea have been uh, making so cool content. Traveling, just went to Reykjavik. And uh, playing tournaments. Very fun to watch the, uh, them play over the board tournaments uh, with... Um, with somebody commentating on their game. So check that out. Much love. Thank you so much for the raid, uh, Alex. I really appreciate it. Wow. That's cool. Whoa, that's very cool. And for the people watching, we're... Uh, God, did, and then I make a mistake. Oh, no, no, I'm back, back, back. And then uh, for the people watching, I, uh, I'm i playing here three-handed. First place is about 4K. Playing some other tournaments. Just gonna jam this for value. Beat tons of hands. Nice. And we beat that one as well. Sick. Heads up. Oh, that's so nice. That feels so good. We have to go heads up it against Jack Bauer. Holy shit. I might show you guys some chess if you're really curious uh, to watch uh, an up and coming uh, chess star uh, play some chess. Wow, okay, I was like, oh, I looked at ace-deuce, I saw no connection to the board, and then you see, oh, you win, okay, cool, nice. Alright, so we're heads up, so how do you calculate uh, how much do you get for the bounties when you're heads up? You uh, add the bounties together, and then you times two, so we're playing for $2,200, and we're about to close it right now. Jack Bauer, his run comes to an end. Surely! His run does come to an end. We are the fucking champions. None of those hands against him matters. It's all about the last one. I feel fucking great about this final table. Was able to keep my composure in my uh, in my very own way. Hey, yeah, 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 
Oh, somebody asked earlier. Uh, why did Lex put 5k first in his title? It says it's probably only 4k. And we win. Uh, how much is this, guys? 5700 $5,700. Bling, bling, blau. Give it to me now. Did it in style. Nice. Woo, celebration song. Wow, that went fast, huh, all of a sudden. Damn. Nice. Hey, that's my first Stachosaurus win. Since it's been called Stachosaurus. Okay. Nice. Let's update the bankroll because that must be a, a really. That's gonna be a really nice day saver. <laughs> All that moaning. No, kidding. It's just a lot happening today. Who's Lex talking about? Alexandra Botes, aka Botes Live. To be really honest, one of the more exciting people to join the poker landscape because she is. Uh, very serious about it. Look at that. 1,000 up. That's all I need to do. Win a tournament. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright. We carry on. Hey, Crazy86. Thank you for the 47 months. Nice, nice, nice. Make sure you follow the channel, guys, if you do like some uh, poker and you got here from the raids. I've been streaming for eight years. Been a poker pro for 20. I know. It's a very long time. Okay, 320 Supersonic, uh, 38 minutes, I'm going to play that one as well. What else? 109 Hot Hypers coming up. Those are my last tournaments, but we'll be here for a while. 500 ELO Chess, bro. I'm um, Play a mean Karo Khan, please. Okay, all right, all right. So let's finish strong. I mean, this is already really strong. We're at the very least breaking even, which is fucking amazing. How poetic with the eights, yeah. A lot of those reactions, and I think that if you ever have been in that spot, a lot of those reactions that I have, uh, you know, before we, we actually win it, um, are just stemming from fear, right? Like you're afraid that you're, uh, you're just afraid that your uh, uh, advantage is slipping. Um, let me show this. Oh shit! Ten! Oh yuck! Fuck! Wow. Not re-entering that one. Uh, you're just afraid that your advantage on the table is, uh, is slipping there and uh, um, that you're not going to make it to like top two or whatever stacks are even, you know. So, uh, but I think that uh, like everybody, everybody's gone through that uh, once. 
And then you just need to sort of stress release, right? And then you call somebody a lucky, ba lucky, uh, lucky fucker, and uh, yeah, it's all good, you know. It's all good. Uh, Ruth and I told you all along this wasn't a donut. Through that, through that. It ain't, it ain't. Okay, I guess now we're committed to this hand. Well, I have no outs. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba -ba. You're tired of all that winning? <laughs> well, what can I say? No, it's uh, it's nice. We're having some good sessions. Uh, Jack nine, let's go for a re-raise. You can either flat or re-raise. Folding is not an option. Uh, we're deep. Uh, we're in the money in this tournament. Uh, so let's update the graphics. I mean, it's a long way to the finish line, but holy fucking hell, if you make it there, I was gonna check. You know that's like of all the stuff that he cold calls, right? From fucking ace queen or ace king or ace jack suited to nine stands jack. He's not fooling anything on this board. And now it's interesting because now we can start making putting pressure to like nines and eights or pocket jacks or a hand like ace jack or. Um, so now I'm just gonna bet and I'm most likely gonna jam rivers just because my my range really looks like I have like ace queen king queen here. Also, it's always good to to think of having some bluffs in some scenarios and. What better bluff to have than fucking Jack High that doesn't beat shit, you know? How is 36k plus 5.740k? It's not! <laughs> but, <laughs> I also do other buy-ins in the meantime, so... We can also do both here. In low-stakes tournaments, I opt to 3-bet a lot. Actually, in high-stakes tournaments as well. such a nice bluff but nine pairing is not that great if if we have like 25 bigs and i could just jam but i don't really see them uh fold this is actually a problem because i thought i blocked most of those jack tens and that's one of the hands that i'm targeting to fold right but if if the hand that i'm targeting to fold is uh, one of the cards in my hand that's not that's not that great
Ooh, twenty-five dollars, nice. Fear is the mind killer. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, but it's not really fear, but it's uh, maybe apprehension is a better word or something. It's just like you, you just know when you play how important uh, getting uh, top one, two is when you have to chip lead four handed. So when you have like 90 big blinds versus like two or three 20 big blind stacks and all of a sudden everybody has 45 bigs and it's because you lost a few all-ins in a row, that's when you just start thinking motherfucker because you feel like that tide is sort of turning, you know. So that's why. Whoop. Well, that was nice. We also won a lot of the bounties. Nice to take one down with the raid incoming. A big one as well. A little bit light, Queen Eight is probably only from the next position over or something as a race. Yeah, that's a that's a subscription sounds. Nice. Okay. All right, we got three bets here. Uh, probably call flop, see what happens. If they bet the turn, you know, I mean, uh, Ace King is not that great to bet on a blank turn. So let's say the turn is a four, and they bet again. Ace King is just not barreling on this board, right? Um, there's other hands that can barrel, maybe King Ten, King Jack, Jack Ten, that sort of thing. But um, 
their bets just become way stronger obviously now we can just easily get out over here we have a 21 dollar bounty i mean uh, this is a big tournament it's very small all these bounties are small is that final table still going or no 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 we won it man we've been doing good at closing tournaments lately huh i actually won so many tournaments won the big one a nine won the 215 bounty won the fucking uh stack of sores I've actually shipped quite a few tournaments. Shut. Is nice. Okay. Any books you recommend, bro, to improve your game? Uh, all the tools that you need to improve poker are in video form online. Um, I would only read books to improve things like mental game, like the mental game of poker. But Jared Tantor is a great book that will teach you to learn better and to play poker more efficiently. But everything you need is in uh, video content already and being updated. And So just go to bbcpoker.com. That's my personal recommendation. And... Uh, the founder, creator, owner, whatever of BBC, Mr. BBC himself is my uh, personal poker coach as well. Bro, eres muy bueno. ¿Cómo haces para ganar esos torneos? Uh, too easy because 111 registered people is not that many people to play. How many people did you beat in your tournament that you won today? Bro, I don't care if it's fucking 20 people. I'm happy to beat 20 people and win a tournament. I guess we just have a little bit of a different outlook on what uh, what good results mean or something to be happy with. Right? Guys, also, I got a tattoo. I'm very proud of it. I'm very happy with it, I should say. Look, I got a tattoo. So this is the sad times back in the day and the swings and this represents all the good times and all the and it's on top because the good times prevailed but I've had a very swingy life I put myself through some pretty insane situations willingly but also got into some very hairy spots and we are uh, also like health wise and whatever and now we're all good and crushing for a while so um, and then I have the letter M which is also sort of Easter egg to Dragon Ball C letter m for my wife because ever since we uh the classic tale of getting everything on the rails when uh when we started dating again just made me reconsider things oh dillock jason you want to make this a two for one special they folded against my king so we'll stick with this table right here mm. we're winning this one can't you tell Scheiße. fake news Uh, I've been getting smoked playing these low stick tournaments. Do you recommend playing higher buys with these less participants? Well, the problem with low stakes tournaments is that the fields are so huge, right? So the variance is insane. Like to get to the end and to reasonable payouts, the variance is insane. The problem is to avoid that, you cannot go and play super high variance tournaments that are too big for your bankroll. You know? So like you can't replace... You can't replace a, a mistake, a, a non-mistake that's frustrating with a mistake, right? And and playing above your bankroll is a mistake. So,
Geil. By alone in the darkness. Okay, eight is good, so we have five bigs. Bigs! <laughs> Sorry, I'm in New Zealand. Ay, ay, ay. When, when, we're, when we're driving around and we're listening to the radio, uh, I'm constantly also just like saying stuff like that, you know? Bigs and just, just sort of reenacting the accent. Uh, accent. Sint. Accent. I have to pee so fucking badly, and it's 11.28, I have to wait 27 minutes. We have to pack as well, holy shit guys, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy, have we been in New Zealand since uh, December 5th we've been traveling. We got to New Zealand December 10th, oh shit, well tva! Fulfill the Tomten fuck. Uh, so we've been traveling uh, si since December 5th. Been in New Zealand since December 10th. And now we're packing up and leaving. It's surreal. It is actually surreal. Going to Malaysia on Monday for two weeks. And that finishes off the trip. Won't be playing any poker from there. And then when I'm back, there's going to be a lot of poker. So we, we arrive in the Netherlands the 18th, the 19th. I have my very own Sunday Million Season Mystery Bounty Tournament. Um, as you see here. Here we see 215 Lexus Event Mystery Bounty. April 20th. Oh yeah, that's here. Okay, but it'll be April 19th in Europe. <laughs> Fuck, this scared the shit out of me. Um, and then... I'll be online that Friday, and then I'll be online that Sunday, and then uh, we're already very close to Scoop. Scoop, I'm going to go super hardcore, play every single day. There's official events, which will be Sunday through Monday, well, Monday through Sunday, uh, without the Friday. The superior is the actuality for you, Lex. Wow. Lots of ASX here. Bluffs wouldn't work for seven, six big blinds either, right? So this is one of those spots where our best value goes really big and our bluffs go really big. Most of our bluffs. So yeah, lots of uh, streaming, and then uh, from there uh, we go into like a really in into a much more uh, frequent, stable streaming schedule. Um, so fuck, I, I constantly feel like I don't know if I should talk about some stream, but I guess I can. It's also in the middle of the night in the Netherlands. I am uh, plus Mirtha told her. So well, I'm gonna ask her. Why well, is this? We're not having a third kid or something like. <laughs> okay. Friday into poker, I realize managing your bankroll is perhaps even more important than your play. Sometimes it gets with a lot of players in trouble. I mean, it, it is super important, and it's. I wouldn't say it's more important to your play, but um, I will say that it's uh, it's one of the things that get people in trouble massively. Let's let's put it this way: if you don't have good bankroll management in poker, you will not succeed. 
You will not win. You will not succeed. You will not do well. You will not be able to stand that deficit that you start with. Okay. Uh, this player just wants to see a flop, huh? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Right, we can't fault for this. Fuck. <laughs> Dance, what the hell? What the fuck is this person doing? It's crazy. Alright, this is nice. Actually, a lot of their hands get there that they call the flop and the turn with, right? It's a lot of 9x. Fucking great runouts. Did you decide on what islands are you going to do beside Malaysia? We might go over to Thailand, uh, like you guys in chat were saying. It's like a one-hour boat ride. Go for, a, uh, go for a night there. But we have we have a really nice hotel in Malaysia, so I don't really want to spend the night somewhere else. It's like an insane waste. But we're... Yeah, if anybody else have any tips on islands that are close to Langkawi, very welcome. Um, oh yeah, so I just asked Myrta if it's okay, but, uh, so Myrta, because of this trip, Myrta has decided that she's gonna stop working until Yuna has to go to school. Um, it's kind of funny because it's like one of those things where, you know, before, uh, Myrta, so she's gonna work till this summer, till July, and then after not work for a couple of years. Um, so before Myrta always works, she worked three days, four days, whatever, um, and, even with four even with belgium uh okay let's go this is huge yeah nice um even before with belgium being a um uh, a, a huge obstruction for me to be able to stream much uh we never we never spoke about mirta not working because like you know when when I try to piece my schedule together, when when you when I try to like you know if if this is the framework, fuck man. If this is the framework that we're uh, that we're um, thinking about, you know, uh, uh, fitting poker into or fitting uh, streaming into, then it's like okay, how much time do we have? Let's say this whole area is time, right? Okay, this block is kids. Um, and then, whoa, <laughs> yeah, this block is kids. Um, let me put it, sorry, very chaotic. Nine minutes, 55 Sonic. Okay, so... <clears throat> This is the this is the block with kids. Okay, so now we have that much time for poker. And then, for instance, like this block was Mirta's work. And let's say, and then I know how much time I have left. Right, like the the rest of this area is going to be divided between other things. And there's just like you you know you work down from things that are just absolutely there. And Mirta's work was always was always there for us, because that's you know it's not like. In, in my mind, even though my job happens to make more than um, what she made, <clears throat> if we both have the desire to work, then that should be equally important, right? Because it's like about personal um, development and uh, just generally stuff that makes you happy. So it's very important that Mirta gets to uh, express herself in her work and do what she wants. Um, so... Even with uh, the with when Yuna was born, 
um, this block with kids became like twice as big because it's so much more intense with two kids. Um, and that meant that yeah, going to Belgium was a lot harder to do. Um, but now through this trip, Mirta just realized like we have the ability to uh, to have a lot of freedom, right? Because I can stream, but I can also stream from other places. Like here, like I, I'm actually uh, uh, streaming quite a bit from here. Um, or that way we could play an EPT and we could bring the family. That's why like going to EPT Barcelona, we're just bringing... Mirta and kids are just coming, right? So Mirta and the kids are coming to EPT Barcelona. Um, so it doesn't take away... Traveling doesn't take away from family time anymore. So all of a sudden we can start blending these things more. Um, plus making experiences right like going to barcelona maybe we'll stay like two three extra days right and then uh, stream after uh, all that sort of stuff so there's just a yeah there's just a, a lot more options all of a sudden that we have i mean they they should not be wanting to bluff spades so that's always really nice maybe as in like five seven of spades or something but wow that's cool that's very cool um anyway so Mirta realized like if there's ever a time not to work uh it's when we get to spend that time with kids because it's not it's not just uh for some reason i'm getting super distracted by the music um yeah for some reason it's not just like uh it's not just like uh uh going on trips right but it's also just having we realize now that if Navi goes to school, he's just going to be in school like four days a week. And right now, he's going to be home all day, right? So if we ever want to spend quality time with the kids, uh, we can maximize it now. So we just get to do a lot more. Um, like, let's say I stream three, four days a week, right? Um, and then I can just do that three days in a row. And then we can go get to go somewhere for three days or... Uh, we just get to go somewhere for a night or something if Mirta doesn't work and I have the day off the next day. It's just a lot easier. So um, my work is very flexible. Um, and that doesn't mean flexible as in I can or cannot work because I definitely want to work a lot this year. Um, so funnily enough, I also just get to stream more even though I get to see Mirta and the kids more as well. Um, because now there's no issue in the morning for instance Mirta had to drive half an hour to work so what I did usually is I took the kids um, to our mothers if they were babysitting or to daycare once a week um, but that meant that that's that's cutting into how early I can start my stream now Mirta can just take them and I get to go super early in the morning uh, and stream so I found a location in Belgium that's closer to the border um, so I uh, uh, so I can stream more and I'm going to stream more and I'm going to play more live and I still get to see Mirta and the kids more often. And the nice thing about it all is that it's Mirta's own decision to do it. So it's not something like, hey, if you do this, then we can X, Y, Z. And she's like, oh, I think about it, but I really want to work, you know. Uh, that's not that's not really what happened. It's uh, it's her saying like, you know, I think it's time to do this and just do this for a few years. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's uh, that's been big. So I knew that for a while that she was uh, and like like that she was doing that. And it's like like I said, I didn't even know that was going on in her head. But it's uh, it's something that Kaboom Poker said in chat, and that kind of sort of woke up some feelings that she already was thinking about. And then she started considering it, and she's like, "Holy shit, we're making this trip because Navi's not in school yet. What is the only reason? And what is the other reason we can make this trip? Is because she's on parental leave, right? Maternity leave for." Uh, but then if this is gone, we can't do it anymore. She's like, I'm not worth, uh, my work is not worth not being able to do that. Okay. 
So yeah. It's a good turn. So we're gonna max late rate both supersonics. I have to remember to do that on break. Oh, it's actually before the break. Nice. It's gonna check. Oh. We chop against any ace. How much jealous of the relationship you two have? Sounds like so 50 50. A lot of care for one another. Yeah, it's we're super. We're yeah, we're yeah, yeah. I can, I mean, I'm still like, whoa, 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 I think you know, but 100%. I'm also proud of that. You know, we are we talk about everything so well, you know, and we have you know, we have arguments, of course. Um, but uh, but we just like we just know what's important for each other, right. Because I was talking about, like, my whole, um... I was talking about my whole, uh... Mith was talking about my thing about wanting to stream more and Belgium and how to do all that. And uh, and then her friends was like, so have you considered not... Have you considered not working? And it's just like, no, actually, no. And it's like, it's not something we, we spoke about at all. Let me show you as well about the Um, so, let me play this out and I'm going to show you guys. God, I have to be so bad. All right, we're going to call this, I mean, it's not 20 big blind shelves aren't, not super keen, but, uh, we're still going to do really well in general. But if there's an ISO here, then I'm just like, you know, cause I'm already not f feeling fucking great about, uh, not feeling fucking great about the 22 big blinds with nines it's like okay i'll do it of course but for them, somebody to then iso that it's just like it's something that uh, i'm not uh, too happy about do you perceive your work as work i mean it is work it is work that i find extremely fun but yeah like i can't wait to stream i can't and this is not like some like uh oh guys i love what i no you don't understand like yesterday i'm fucking giddy about streaming today. I cannot wait to play every day. But it's still work, you know. Um, Alright, so... If you look at... Uh, um, if you look at, like... Uh, let's see. Brushes. Airbrush. So this is the border, right? This is the border with Netherlands. So this is Belgium. And sort of like <clears throat> this is the this is the road in from the Netherlands. And now I'm in this area here. I'm in this area here. Um but to drive from here to there, this this road and then exiting here and then going into this area. This road, this Last bit takes 25 minutes, 20 minutes. Hey, Gorbet Shelf, thank you so much for the sub, bro. Thank you very much. It's 36 months, three years, nice. So what I've done now is I've done something close. I found something close to the border here. And it saves me 
it saves me a 30 minute drive. So it's going to be much easier for me to, uh, to drive back and forth quicker. Um, and with the fact that Mirta can take the kids to, uh, uh, to their grandmothers now. Um, so before Mirta wouldn't be able to make it to her work, uh, if she, uh, uh, if she, if she had to, uh, take the kids and on top of that, um, this area is so infested with traffic jams that if I would have to do that in the afternoon, then it would just drive me crazy. Um, you know, to each their own. But this this thirty minute drive here, extra with the traffic jams that I possibly get to it, is that that was, yeah. After like a long stream, it just fucked fucked me in the head. So, um, what I can do now is now I can just just go to the gym at six a.m., work out for an hour. Uh, get live here at like 9, 9.30, get to play a full day, drive back home, be home for dinner, spend the evening with the family, right? So now it becomes much more like a normal working day where I also have enough time to play poker. So uh, that's why I'm so excited about it because um, both the fact that I found a new location in Belgium and the fact that Mirta stops working just makes it so that I can stream at least twice a week more. I like watching you, but can't send the fact you keep up the clickbait title so long after tournament's over. I get it, it gets you views, but I feel like you're never in a tournament of your title. Man, honestly, bro, I, I mean this I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Suck my dick. Okay. It's like if you if you see my fucking screen and everything that go, goes on, like like what I said. If you see all this fucking shit that I have to click and manage and do whatever because I'm streaming. If I have fucking this thing with buttons that I press all these fucking buttons while I'm streaming everything all of it right <laughs> then yes i'll forget to change the fucking title after an adrenaline dump after the tournament's over uh less than half an hour ago by the way sorry uh sorry that my first fucking instinct isn't uh to make johnny the nurse happy uh because of my clickbait title it's not for views bro i could i can make my titles way different oh wait what is this 60k guaranteed okay wait 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 wait. i got it i got it johnny nurse i got it. you're right you're right you're right i fucking i fucking want views right i fucking uh, it's all about the views almost almost chip leads sixty thousand dollars guaranteed cool okay sixty thousand dollars guaranteed you know almost chip leads thank you johnny the nurse Thank you. Wow. Okay, let's hope. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming in. Can you smell them? They're coming in, guys. Please. There's just a lot going on, bro. See, now I make a, now I make a fucking mistake in the hand as well. Because you're whining. Straight flash. It's like what a what a what an insane amount of assumptions, right? Nice, I guess, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, that's... Oh, you live in Zandvliet? Wow.
Okay, we're jamming eights. We're gonna do pretty well. I mean, they they have plenty of bluffs. Um, and if we flat, we give all those. Uh, if we flat, we give all those bluffs a free flop. So we're just gonna jam, and sometimes run into aces and kings. Sorry, but it's just the grinds my gears when people say that. Because it's like there's there's people that are fucking clickbaiting the shit out of your stream. But there's so it's just so much going on when you're streaming that you can't keep track of everything. Sometimes I immediately change stuff, sometimes I don't. And sometimes you leave it up there because the tournament was fucking 30 minutes ago and people like to ask about it and otherwise they don't know. If I if I don't have that in my if in my name a little bit after then people are just thinking like, oh, yeah, Lex is here. Oh, cool. He's playing the 320 Sonic. He's playing the 22. Hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably should bet the turn or that blow. Oh. Can't forgive you for the title. Fucking hell. Sounds like everything's getting to a really nice place. I'm ready to have to work plus a new place in Belgium. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Whoa. It's gonna jam. We don't have any sort of like non alim bluffs here at this moment. Holy shit, what a spot. Let's see if we can bet. Bilovinsky has one of you versus me. Let's see if we can get him back with a dirty one. That was all automatic. No, man, I'm like, I'm fucking. You know, I, I'm, I literally think that I'm pressing like. What would it be? In a, during a full stream? Five, six thousand buttons or something? Johnny Energy happy now you prick. <laughs> no, come on, come on. Ay, ay, ay. Is it funny that if it's all you guys, it came because of the title? <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Uh... 2140 bigs is a little bit too rich for my blood. It's not. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, bear back. Uh, I'm just sorry, I was getting to run. So I'll just do this. This fucking guy runs so fucking good. Blind first blind. Ow, on this table. And here we are. You know why? Because I love you guys. Okay? I mean, like, look at this fucking... Why am I starting this? All these regulars should get on their fucking knees and thank me for this. <laughs> why do I get so aggro about it? Okay. What about big here? Let's try. Let's see if he throws an emote. Are you drunk today? Jesus. Should I be worried? 10. Okay, wait. Because I checked this. But isn't a 10 kind of in my advantage? I'll do a little bit of barreling, you know. $1,000. Um... Pretty clearly the bottom of range, everything else is a pair or straight. Alright, let's do it. I mean it has to be done. I literally don't have any worse hands. I think it's pretty cool. I stand by it. That's fine. That doesn't matter. That doesn't mean it's a bad bluff. 
I wonder if it turns a barrel though. That's something that's interesting. I wonder, but I think it's pretty good. 1k. He calls 90 big blinds. That's exactly what I was saying. Oof, nice. Nice, nice. The boy who lives. I mean, because of his best size, I don't think I can actually lead too much when some random gutter hits, you know? Uh... That's too bad, I've not low. I think in these situations, it's very important to think if your pairs are going to be good if you call the turn. I actually do think that they can be good. So it's gonna be queen 10, jack 10, queen jack, maybe some like king 6, king 7. So I don't mind my turn call. Uh, do I just jam now? A bit awkward. I actually think checking is pretty cool. I have the emergency hearts. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? <sighs> yes, pen, yes, pen, yes, pen, yes, pen, eight, yes, pen, eight. All right, shoving on the bubble of the well, bubble going towards the bubble of the one K. Oh. Ten spots away from this massive fucking uh, spot. Holy shit. The 1k. Okay, so this is actually seven spots away from the money. Another 12, it's 12k first, 2k min cash, insanely tough tournament. Oh, look at this, guys. Wow, 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 wow. I, I need to change my title. I need to put aces every hand. I assume changing the title with the delay makes managing it complicated too. Yeah, very good point. Sometimes I'll know like, oh, I busted that tournament and then you just, you, you just, and you're like, uh, okay, but now it's a spoiler, right? It's the same as sometimes posting and I'm on a final table or posting a win screenshot. You just have to manage the delay. So then, I mean, if I see a tournament that finishes late registration in two minutes, I don't even fucking remember delayed registration. <laughs> like how the fuck am I supposed to remember four, four minutes down the line always like, oh, my title, you know, it's just, you just gotta have to fucking accept it, you know? If it's not a secret, how much do you pay for that place in Belgium? It's just a one-bedroom flat. Uh, the new place uh, that I have... So the place that I have now is 4K in rent, right? Or like plus plus extra cost, like 4200 The new place probably rounds out a bit like 2100 So it's closer.
Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Come from a cinema, seeing ship at Orman. Nice, like Aussie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Queens with the club. Let's go. Worst time to bluff with. Ha! I did that to you once, remember? Ay, ay, ay. Ah, study with BBC. Okay, we have 90 big blinds in this $60,000 guaranteed uh, situation. Okay, still a good stack here in the Sonic. First place, 4.5k. Min cash is always big in these hypers. 2x buy in. Okay, so he's capped. Probably the only, fl only flat he has that crushes me is aces. Um, of course, Ace Jack is 10 are in there that might call, will call, which is a problem, but you know, he's folding King Jack, which is fucking great. So, I think that's like Ace King, Ace Queen, I do really well. Even nines, right? 50 50. Nice. Good, good, good. Nice to win a flip there. I like that there's like no caches. Three, 250 bound dollars in bounties in the 1k and then there's fucking first in the stack of source <laughs> just like clean day saver you know break even 5.7k well a lot of saving at the new place yeah so that's why, and I'm having a studio built, like a, just a box, like nothing special, I guess, but just a box in the house, you know? So, uh, just a, a soundproof box, because like in the current place in Belgium, even if you look at like the, if you look at the highlights here, right? Um, if you look at behind me there, you see uh, all these... Uh, this is all like stone and the floor is marble and and then it's there's glass all around me like i'm facing glass and there's glass next to me um so it's like uh the sound is the sound there is not great the lighting is shit 
So I'm just building a fucking box so that I have control over everything. Yeah, it was a really nice place, but I just had to get something like very quickly, right? Because the Netherlands shut down uh, poker and I had to pivot to something. And then I thought that, you know, that spot was going to be for six months and I thought it was going to be for 12 months and I thought it was going to be for uh, 16 months. So, you know, and now I'm just going to take sort of matters in own hands and just go somewhere and see what happens. Okay. Man, I can't believe that I didn't play the 5.30 cooldown and stuff before on the schedule. So silly. Mm -mm -mm. I always wonder what these people do for a living who can't afford these fucked up high rents. Now I have one answer. <laughs> well, it was really hard. Whoa. Um, wow. Uh, Belgian. Let's see, where is this tournament at? 20 out of 34. Pfft, probably not worth it, to be honest. Um, I was like, oh, I need to change the title. No, it's already changed. The tournament does it automatically. Look at this. What if I just swap these two tables around? What do you say? The hot 215. I don't have to press any buttons because in there it is. It already changed. And this one says hot hyper now. Wow. Having a blast watching on a Wednesday. Thank you, thank you. So ghosty. Great success. Go three out of nine. Also, for the people saying, for somebody saying clickbaiting, if you're not in the tour, okay, I guess uh, stream whatever. I do have a currently playing list now. Nice payouts, boom! Thanks, Crooks and Ruth. So we have this whole new automated system where I can just click payouts and they just appear. But uh, the the input there is uh, done by uh, Crooks and Ruth then. Amazing turn. Hi, Scott. He's gonna check. He's gonna have hands like King Ten, for instance, right? That he just calls on the flop. Um, those hands are gonna bluff on the river. This is a great river. Hi, Scott. Yeah. You can even buy a bit of five, but we're just gonna call. A6, that's too bad, but what can you do? What can you do? Hey! 
Heb jij een spijkerjasje aan? Oh no. Aas kaas, please. Wow. Nice. Is it better to buy a house if you can then make some profit in the house? Uh, yes, but the houses, the the one that I'm in now, the ones that are useful for streaming, um, aren't always for sale, and the house like the house that I'm renting for four thousand is like, a one point eight million or something to buy. I would guess. So like, <laughs> yeah, I just don't have that laying around. Have you seen me play? <laughs> What's the approach to studying for low stake average player? Uh, get BBZ's simple poker system bundle because it's very much a quick way to make huge improvements to your own game and to learn how to interpret and deal with solvers. Um, like the best thing is always like shortcuts that like you always have to focus on studying where you where your win rate improves the most, right? Schat. Ja. ja? Oh, dat is gezellig. Ja. Ja, 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 dat is gezellig. Hallo. Hi, my see. Wat is er? Heb je pijn in je tanden? Oh, nee. Gelukkig. Want daar worden papa en mama niet zo vrolijk van ook, hè? Nee. Ja. ja, dat is niet erg. Daar kun ik zo doen. Hé, hey, Naf. Dat is gezellig. Weer op mijn nek. Nee? nee? Juna wilde even op schoot, ja. Wij heb je nu maar die lichtjes aan. Welke lichtjes, schat? Oh, mijn toetsenbord. Ja. Even kijken hoor, misschien moet ik dan wat doen. Nee, die zijn gewoon uit. Zijn die wel uit? Ja, die zijn gewoon uit. Waarom? Dat ja, weet ik ook niet. Ik heb ze niet per se uitgezet, niet aanzetten hier. Waarom moet je nou niet aanzetten? Nou ja, dat is gewoon... Uh, dan gaan er wat dingen fout op mijn werk als je daar ah. aanzet. Oh, mijn god. Um. Oké. Okay. <laughs> Now there's the question if she sat in something wet. <laughs> if she sat in something wet. Wat zeg je? Oh, oké. Okay. Want ik dacht er net even dat het op schoot en toen dacht ik ineens, waarom wordt het een beetje vochtig? Nee, ik heb het gemaakt. Het was net geregend. Oké, okay, uh, okay. Toen dacht zij, uh, don't care. Ja, yeah, don't care. Alright, I thought that Juna leaked through her diaper. So that, I was like, I feel something uh, getting wet. And then I thought that maybe it was pee, but it's okay. It's water from the slide. I wish Pokestars could have a pre-register function where you can drag and drop MT on a play. Even for later, you will set a timer. Yeah, the thing, I actually asked them about that in the past. And you know, you know the thing that they said against that is uh, they don't want... They don't want m max late dredging to be too clinical. 
uh, because in general it's bad for tournaments so what ends up if people can't be super super accurate with it what people will start doing is just registering because they don't want to forget about the tournament and that's better for the tournament the price pool in the ecosystem in that sense so they said if you allow people to make timers it becomes really predatory to be able to max late reg and it's a fair point i don't know where you know where the truth is in actual functionality right Babe, babe, babe. Where do you live? I'm in New Zealand now in Auckland. Where's your bleeding? Pretty reggy. Nope. <laughs> nope. BBZ, raise your edge. BBZ. It's fucking crazy. I have 220 big blind stacks on my table and they're both uh, winning players. It's like the better the players, the more you need to see about these kind of hands because like, I mean, no, no, no disrespect, <laughs> but if somebody like this board, I would just bet one big blind on all day long, you know, against the regular. Maybe I should just check the turn because I got to shove rivers and Asex will call anyway, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. Two out of seven. Some real short stacks though. I mean, man, if I was just like, if I was just a tiny fucking bit more gangster, then I would just jam here, right? Think about it. Eight big blinds, 20 big blinds, 11 big blinds, 13 big blinds, a huge issue for Bilowinski. I mean, it's not that great for me if I lose the hand, but like him calling is just, you know, two spots away from a 2x buy-in bubble. Uh, need to just, you know, toughen up a little bit, I think. Which tournament has a 60 guarantee? This one. The 22 uh, Battle Royale it has $9,000 first place. I need to be careful where I click. I'm not even looking at the table. 
clicking in the area to click in the middle, but I could just click call. <laughs> Pull up, pull up. Will be your approach when you can start understanding what poker is. We teach someone to play. Yeah. Uh, I just min race. The chip leaders in the small blind, which is nice. I have infi fold equity on them, and obviously they are gonna shove good hands. But still, they have like bubble pressure as well, right? It's not like they look at like fucking king jack off here and think, oh, this is fucking great. Let's go. They're even folding like low pairs, like fours and fives, etc. Hope you didn't play poker in Bali, it's illegal there. Yeah, yeah, didn't play online. I mean, if something, if like, if live poker would be illegal and online is sort of like gray area, I would just do it, you know? Like I would just, if I, if, if we were to travel to Thailand, you you can, it's legal to download poker stars, but it's like gambling is a gray area, but it's because live gambling is forbidden. Like live poker is strictly forbidden, right? So I, uh, but I would have any problem with streaming poker from Thailand. Um, but, uh, yeah, I didn't do anything from Bali. If it's forbidden, I don't do it. But it's like, if it's like, uh, <laughs> frowned upon, I don't care, you know. Very interesting. Three big blinds to pick up here. Final table of 10 is not possible anymore these days now. It's 9, 7. Also, a final table of 10 means that the final two tables, the final table bubble was uh that the final table bubble was actually um uh 11 uh, on 11 which is not that shouldn't be possible right the final table bubble should always be an even amount because that way because if it's an even amount uh then uh it's more fair because otherwise one table on a hand for hand is playing more it's getting the blinds more often Do -doom! <laughs> called it for you boss baby i kind of just feel like jamming you know that I think I just might. They're playing really tough, I think. They're playing... Uh, they're playing the spot well. Like, I don't want to raise call, honestly. <laughs> okay. This hand is definitely not strong enough. To shove, but I don't want to fold either. It's nice to open 2.3. Do I just jam? Yeah, I think so. Uh...
Are you fucking kidding me? Like, what the hell? Okay, this is just the dumbest fucking... This is literally the dumbest fucking shit I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. You make a, you can make a very sincere case that he fold that he that he could fold Ace King, right? I, I'm not even kidding. This is this is literally the dumbest fucking shit I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. In this spot for them to have aces. That's just sickening to be honest. That's just that's just fucking sickening. I'm I'm shocked. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Very cool, boys and girls. Holy shit! Uh, before before any sweaty before if you start making sweaty comments about like uh, that's why you should just raise if i raise and they re-raise i go all in so <laughs> sorry it's not that, that that fantasy world is never happening i'm always dead there always Okay. That's not tilting at all. In such a big spot. My stack is worth like what? 2800? Nice. Okay, unofficial final table. Well, I'm so frustrated. Well, not not really frustrated, but I'm just fucking. But also with the stack, nice rich alive. Good luck. I'm always surprised at how many tables I run into Sinteros, even though I can only play four tables. So good to see you. My name is Strange. I'm super busy late. Hope life's good. What up, Irish Jim? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Okay. Ah, 
I think it was an overplay. Fine. Okay. Okay. Um, the thing that people don't, uh, the thing that people don't realize is like if, uh, if I'm going to jam there with hands that I want to open, I can jam a lot with like hands like ace jack or pocket ace or something. Um, but if I don't mix any ace queen in, then, you know, calls become a lot more easy for them. What the fuck? Nice. Then calls become a lot more easy for them. Um, also... People are always obsessed with the idea, what do you hope to get called by? Which is uh, a question that you can ask if somebody goes all in for value on the river. But um, if, you, uh, if you go all in preflop, the only function of going all in is not that you hope to get called by certain hands. If you raise and he shoves you call, no. Those hands I'm just raising, of course. I can't call with ace queen off if he shoves. So. In my opinion. So then I don't want to play the hand and he's been playing for super aggro versus raises. So then uh, we play like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, however you look at it, even if you think ace queen or whatever, it's it's it is just insane to run his aces there. Like, and that the chip leader has him right. It's like a one in a fucking. The fact that I have a hand to shove, the fact that there is aces out there, and the fact it's the only stack that covers me. Oh, other stacks have one third of my stack, by the way. It's just wild. Oh, this person loves a good bounty hunt, huh? Interesting spot, though. It's very interesting, I think. It's very, very interesting, Kuhn. I agree. Like, I'm not hell-bent on my strategy. I just I don't think it's... Uh, I think it makes some sense. I feel like it's kind of one of those spots where, you know, uh, you shove from the blinds with, like, 40 bigs, with, like, ace-queen off, ace-king off, and you, like, three bets non-all-in with the suited ones, right? I feel like I'm inducing here with suited ace-queen, and the other ones I just want the fucking three and a half bigs in the middle. And not get shoved on or, uh, yeah, it's super interesting. Uh, this is the scariest person to, uh, <laughs> shove into here. Annoying. That was a big tournament as well. Ooh, okay, Yeah, I knocked out a lot of people, Eric.
So, when did I get my tattoo? Two days ago. Yeah. So tomorrow... Tomorrow I have to start putting cream on it and shit. <laughs> Moisturizer. It's already getting dry where like the... You know, you start seeing some of the... the this, this black part there. You see like little cracks coming in. My skin starts peeling. Effective all in. Always going for it first one person versus multiple I might fold. Oh, 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 here we go. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not all of them. Don't listen to the chat, pros, you crush. I mean, you know, it's... Uh, it's also important to explain because there's other people that are thinking... The, 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 the question, what do you hope to get called by when going on in preflop, you hear a lot. So sometimes, even though it's chat pro, it's good to... Uh, it's good to explain, right? I mean, it's a bit rich to just give them an 8. So I'm just going to bet for value. They have weaker aces. Almost never have a better ace. Counterfeit other two pairs. They could hero with a 7. That's in there. And then there's also a percentage of the time I feel like people are leading 8s. Because this is a huge fucking problem, of course. Uh, God. I just think my range looks too weak. The only strong hand that I have is sevens, you know? All right. No sense. It's kind of wild that they check all that on the turn. To be honest with you. They have such a strong hand, right? They're pretty much never losing. They're never losing, but there's a lot that can happen on the board. If there's a six, man, I always feel like such a sort of like hindsight idiot, you know? When these things happen, but if there's a six, a nine, or a four, they lose their action with eight seven. If there's a heart, they lose their action. Uh, if there's an ace or a five, they get counterfeited. So this hand is just made for check raising, pretty much. Wow, Cinderos just cleans up. Look at that. A bust with sixes for last week blinds. Okay, I'm gonna catch this. You see what I'm saying? So like, I just don't expect uh, two pairs turn into. So. And then I. Bet a lot of strong hands on the flop. And once I don't, I start looking a lot weaker, and then I bet the turn. I just look like I have a single pair, right? Or sevens, but they blocked that, so obviously. They're gonna have a lot of seven x themselves can turn so many hands into bluffs thinking that I just have an ace and they can rep this. And then I just expect them to fully fucking either lead the turn big or check raise. It's just, you know. So that's the best. Yeah, Forsberg, let's not start spreading stuff like that, though. I mean, it's not like it's uh, it's cheating or something, but it's manipulating the system. That's not uh, that great for the ecosystem. Okay.
the reason why uh, yeah, you're forced to play tournaments these days when you sell into them, the reason why you're forced to play them is um, because it's way better for the ecosystem that way. So let's not, you know, be too excited about stuff the way you can prevent doing that or something. You don't want to call three bets uh, too often in high ICM uh, pressure spots. You start reverting very often to uh, four bet or fold. So if they re-raise me, flatting with uh, ace queen off doesn't sound like a great prospect to me. Okay. <laughs> a sonic bubble really yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like he has six seven, that's exactly what I thought he had a lot. When they're like, I could be good. Oh, wait, no, I can't. And then they see you bet and they're like, well, I don't think they have much. Coach on YouTube says targeting is a bad work for bad players. What do you think about the logic? In what context? Well, I guess, I guess in general, without knowing the context, I think I agree because um, you don't, people don't really know about ranges, right? Hey, pick up it up. Nice call, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, what's up, Lanaman? Good night, mate. It's a little busy at the moment. Give my hopeless loss with black, which clearly indicates I'm not really there mentally. <laughs> um, I refuse to admit you did a great job, of course. Anyway, fuck you. Uh, thank you, Lanaman. It's not that easy to call. I have the standard bounty. Whoa. Nice. Holy. Nice, nice, nice. Boom, boom, boom. Nine. It's dead. Are you really calling flop with something to raise on turn that's still a bluff? I think raises are often value heavy, but I'm really wrong. Oh, you mean, uh, are you really calling the turn that they'll raise on the river that's still a bluff? I think so. I think they'll realize something like, oh shit, I don't think I'm good, but hey, I don't think he has that much either. I think that I have exactly my hand a lot, right? 
and I can just be folding. The one thing you could say is that he they have some 10-9, but I mean, that's about it, I guess, as far as value uh, blocking that I do. Hey, what's up, uh, Bino? Me and Bino have been battling it out in the chest streets. I'm doing good, bro. What up, Spike4000? Lux, you're such an inspiration today. I took down my first big tournament. 33 on the men, bounty. Short field, but still a huge win for me. Nice, dude. Pretty shit apart from a day saver. Yeah, it's actually uh, crazy. We had a really shitty day, and then one tournament we win for 5.7. We had no other caches above $150. <laughs> Wild. Um. All right, GG, GG, GG. Are we doing good, Lexus? That's Brighton now or somewhere else? What up, Gork? Uh, no, I'm in. Uh, I'm in New Zealand, bro. I'm doing good. Okay, let's play some bullets. Uh, how you doing, bro? I saw a clip of you on... Uh, I saw a clip of you on a fucking uh, live stream. Fails. Okay. All right. I hate this. I can't do that yet. I guess I'll do this. Because I want to see if they put their knight and this is pretty good. Now I just know I want to trade bishops, I guess. If he pushes here, it's not that big of a deal. Now, what I wonder... I need to check this. If this is better... I actually think it's good for me to be on this square because I can make this check. I put this... You know that's... Okay. I see the computer like... Um, I saw the computer uh, prefer this knight because they have like a double knight like that. I feel like they just made their bishop useless. Um... if I do this then I have the same thing let's just castle we're gonna castle that side anyway uh oh this is a problem I should have just taken can I exploit this I need to take because I don't want to break my pawn structure. Um. This is a good outpost for me, even though they can just push it here. That would have been a good strategy, actually, to sort of like bait that out. Uh, let's do this. And then attack this. This is nice. If 
probably gonna do this. So what do I do? I feel like there has to be something to do here, but if he just takes, then see. Take with check, and then this. Let's push pressure that first. Oh no, not the clips. <laughs> you have some good highlights, bro. I'll say that. I'm good though. Okay, nice to hear. Stop my alien gamut. Yeah. It's kind of good to get some pawns out to push that. Um, you actually can't go anymore, right? Well, you can go here, I guess. And then we just keep pushing. Okay, that's nice. This is not the best pawn structure after, but it's okay. Maybe I, maybe it's good to go like here and then move my queen here and then force a trade or force a trade now. Let's do this first. Move my queen here, force a trade, and he's gonna put it here. But how do I defend it then, right? I can't just like go here with well, I can go here with my knight and just like take these out. That's pretty good. Okay. Um What if I take this, take check, what does it do for me? Not much. Let's try and queen trades. It creates a passed pawn regardless, you know. Sort of like cheat the system, go through here. Okay. That wins me a pawn. Um, I don't know what to do. Okay. Um okay, let's just do this. We're struggling for time. Uh oh. Okay. Yikes, oh, I gave away my knights, I'm panicking.
Yeah, okay. Ah! Slips. Bro, this guy all of a sudden turns into Hikaru? Come on. Seriously. Oh. Tilted. Okay. I don't know where that went wrong, but holy shit. This is a bad spot to be for this. He should just trade, honestly. I think. King defends ruins. Yeah, I mean it actually it actually kind of bit me in the ass, huh? Like how badly my uh my pawns around my king were uh, organized. Hmm. I just didn't um didn't know how to uh go through there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here, but meh. Um, there has to be uh, some easy way to win. I'm always paranoid about not seeing a mate here, you know? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Instead of taking the rook. So in the London, when do I do this? Is when they do that? When they do knight here, this is pretty good, right? Because they block sort of like this advance. I guess now I don't want to with my queen out. Um, I mean, this would be great though, if I can get triple pawns there. You had a queen started earlier with queen c8 instead of queen d6. I don't, I don't know notation enough. Like I'm 1k, you know. I don't notation enough to know uh, what happened when and what those squares mean. So 
has to defend this. So now I take this. Where I moved this rock off the back row. Oh, I see. When he went, um, well, it's the other way around, right? Where he went h3. Love you playing poker and hard feelings. Yeah, I'm just saying like there's different ways to give feedback, you know, like typing four dots after a comment. Like I'm a 1K in chess, bro. Like nothing's obvious to me. You know what I mean? Okay, so after this, we're going to be a plus one. Is that worth a queen trade already, right? That's what I'm thinking. Because if he takes and then I take and he... Oh, he can't block, so... Oh, wait, no, I can't because then he takes back. Okay. Um, um, let me see. Probably best to trade that bad boy off. This is a good trade for me, really good actually. I can do all kinds of things from here. Plus two, should I just take this, force it, or should I do this, I'm gonna force it, because I'm a boss, I trust my ability, play end game. Now let's do this. Hmm. This didn't do much, did it? Probably because he doesn't have that file, it's better for me to do that. Yeah, because now I get this. I guess we can do this. Do a push, I can go here. Or if they uh, attack. It's impossible for them to double guard this, so I guess I'm just going to take this. Do I force a trade again? This is better to do this, but then I need to move my knight again. It's okay. Let's do this, this or something. Don't really see what that does. Okay, nice. Um, how do I find this just like this? I forgot. Is this ever good? Or is this just bad? If I'm in La La Land now, what I'm doing. Um, go 
Oh, let's just get some pieces out there. I feel like this is not that bad. This one's useless. Whoops. Well, it's okay. No. Why would I do that though? This is good for me. Breaks this open. This becomes very powerful, I think. Terrible tactics, yeah. Which is why I'm 1k, brother. No rush taking a C4 pawn. I'm just gonna ignore whatever you say anyway, because you. The way you give feedback is. Uh, This is bad, this is just like some stupid slow build. This is good. Can't castle that way anymore now. Sorry, I'm well, I'm not a GN. Close my vice control, defend your king and cut your piece of act and wait for mistake, create one wing wing. Okay. Um, I wonder if this, like, you know, if, if I trade here, then he gets a really strong file here. That I, This is really good for me, I think. Which is why my last move was probably bad. Let's see if he blocks with his knight. Because if he blocks with his knight, I can take care of break the spawn structure. Uh, it's, I'm a master chess, painful to watch. Let me help you, bro. All right. Problem solved. Uh, so I feel like I can just, if I go back here though, um, so kind of nice, his queen is locked up, he's not going to do this to break his pawn structure, but I get to take this back, which is really good, and then I'm in there, right? Um, sure, I feel like that pawn is worth it. This is... Maybe I can just go back here, make him move his king. Oh, my queen can get trapped, that's not good. Old Alex forty. Hmm. It's kinda good. I get to break through here. Uh this is what I wanna do, right? I mean I lose a pawn, but is it worth it? Whoa. He gets to take with check. Hmm.
Fuck, I have 31 seconds. Uh, so James CQW. GG on the W, thank you, and the stack source, thank you uh, very much. I don't have that much time. We're in. Maybe do this. That'd be pretty good. I get to spawn whatever. I don't know what to do here now. I need to get my king involved. Let me just go that way. Can't anymore. Um, I have one here. Fuck. Okay, that works for me. I just got flagged again, or at least some time issues. To be careful, I think. This is nice. Jesus Christ, yeah, I can change category. Fair points. Maybe I shouldn't because then people can't talk shit about my chess. <laughs> okay. Wow, I'm almost 1100 blitz, holy shit. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy, actually. Um, now I need to do what I find is annoying in these spots, right? This is annoying to me. People have this vertical. Maybe
also put it here. I'm starting to do the things that I think are annoying when I play against people. I feel like their queen can do more to me than my queen can do to them. So let's just trade. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh. This is problem. I don't play against bots ever. Am I just losing this one now? God damn it, you fucking fool, man. <sighs> Can somebody just fucking club me in the face with it? I always, I make so many mistakes blocking with the knights. Um, kind of want to do that though I feel oh my god misclicked I think I want to castle that way, so I want to keep this spawn structure alive. I don't know if that's good. Good thinking, yes or no, but that's the way I feel. Fuck it, I guess I can't castle anymore if I do that though. I move away, then he takes. Game is hard, man. Let's hope he does anything else. I think this is the move for him. Well. Or that. Hello, can somebody shoot me in the face? Okay, last one. If I keep playing like this, I'm gonna quit. <sighs> These people are fucking nits to play like this. YOLO, pawn YOLO, I never do this, really.
Okay. Slightly annoying. That's slightly annoying for sure. Fuck, I should have done this. You are a poker player more on how dare you play chess. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh man, I'm playing very bad. Man, why is fucking Broly just like sniping pawns all over the place? That's just so obvious, you know? I need to kind of stop with those moves, I feel. This doesn't do anything, even though it feels cool, you know? I should do this. Okay. Should have done this first, I don't know. It was a warm up, I mean. Man, I throw away so much elo and chess by playing like f like tired or something, you know. This doesn't do anything, does it? I don't know how to break through here. This is not okay. Oh, my fucking. <laughs> All right. One more. Man, I just hang my... Ah, fuck this, man. What am I doing? I just hung my queen like three games in a row. Too tired.
played poker all fucking day. Oh man, I waste so much elo playing these games. But I don't like. No, no. You know what? In the end, it's like I always say, and this is true. I don't care about blitz elo. Like my rapid elo is what I really care about. I don't care about blitz elo. So bad. This is not good for me. <sighs> it's okay, I should not be uh I should not be mad. You know that I legit thought that this was made? Okay. Fucking no spine. Alright, so let's play something else in a London. Why do I do this? Let's try this. This is like my least favorite way to open versus... Uh, Versus the Karo Khan defense. This never gets like, this always gets like a check mark, never like uh, anything good. I feel like if they have this pawn line, it's important for me to castle that side because it's really hard for me to get out here if they cover these squares. Mm This is so bad though, I should just go here because now he can just tempo me, right? This is nice. No, it's not. You had the fork? Where? I'm too tired, man. Okay. Is it bad to take this? Uh, no, because then my knight's hanging. And this is here? Yeah, that's cool. <sighs> Let's do this, because then I have to prevent mate so I can save my knight. 
You got a triple fork. Yeah, it's th <laughs> guess not. Chess is self-harm. That's what it feels like sometimes, man. 